Uh, we are going live. <clears throat> 23 waiting. Holy crap. Well, there you have it. We're live. Wait. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Flip Side. Mm. I'm Sam. I'm Jesse. JT. And we are your normal fare for this channel, basically. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have anybody else. We have a few people that drop in on live plays every once in a while. But for the main part, for the most it's part, us. it's us three. And uh, we are going to be doing a live playthrough of Secrets of the Lost Tomb. Now, you may have heard of this game before. Uh, it's, been in the war it's, it's been out there for about 10 years now. But everything Epic Games has employed us to do a live playthrough because they are currently running a GameFound campaign for the 10th anniversary edition, the Epic Edition, as Chris has given the moniker of, uh, for the 10th anniversary edition of Secrets of the Lost Tomb. There's been some changes, some rules streamlining, some um, overhaul of the graphics and the artwork, and uh, they've taken some of the things out that they just thought were clunky and not used as much as they want to, wanted to, and... Uh, have basically produced a brand new version of the game. And so you can go check that out on GameFound right now. There is a link to that project in the description below. Uh, but I do want to make it a point of saying that this is a paid playthrough. They have given us money in order to play through this. Um, so just being upfront and uh, above board about that. You probably saw the little paid... Uh, content thingy uh, up on the top of the screen as you started the stream anyway. So there you have it. Uh, so what we're basically going to do is we're going to say hi to everybody that's here in the chat. Nobody's saying anything right now, so that's fine as well. Oh, good. We have uh, a lot of things going on, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Uh, what I'll do is give a brief uh, rules overview of the game itself, and then we'll go ahead and get started and go from there. Now, this is a campaign. Well, no, not campaign. That's wrong. This is a scenario-based game. Okay. And so each of the scenarios has their own little nuances for setup. But generally speaking, what you're always going to start with is these five tiles out on the board. They represent the three different levels of the tomb. So you have level one where the entrance is, and then you have... Uh, Quetzalcoatl's uh, Descent, which takes you down into Pharaoh's Hall, which is the first room in the second level. And then we can't actually travel to Mongol's Hall at the very beginning. We have to find a way there. Okay. Um, so we won't be able to get there. Um, in the sixth round, when Raz Azul Ahmed shows up, he will boom. Either show up here, or he will show up in a room furthest from this room on the third level. So if we've gotten down to the third level, and right. we've explored some rooms down there, he'll show up furthest away from this hall. Gotcha. If we don't get there by the time he shows up, he'll show up here, and he can go from here to here for free. So gotcha. if he shows up here, he has a movement of four. We have to stop him and kill him before he gets out of the tomb. There's one, two, three, four <laughs> places before he escapes. Right. So the idea is we want to get to these levels. We want to find some things. We'll get to the, the scenario set up. But we want to provide as much time for ourselves to defeat him by getting down to the third level and exploring a little bit before he shows up. We only have six rounds to do that. <laughs> okay. So 12 actions, seven, six rounds. That's what? 36 actions? No, 12 times 12 six, times six is 72? Yeah. Times two. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, <clears throat> 36 times two. So basically, that's how many actions we have to give ourselves as much time to defeat him. Is um, there dynamite? We just blow up the entrance and call it a day? You'd think, right? Mm -hmm. But no, this is a very cinematic game, so Copy. no, that's not going to happen. All right. So we are... Uh, going, I just want to make sure that everything is good live. That is good as well. Cool beans. All right. So there are basically two phases to the game. There's an adventure phase, and then there's a tomb phase. 
in the adventure phase is where we will be able to use our actions. Um, each round will be able to carry out 12 actions, so we'll each be able to do four actions. Once we've done all of our actions, then we'll proceed into the tomb phase where we draw a tomb card. We follow its directions. We'll be uh, moving creatures around. Uh, there, there will be a tomb effect. Then um, creatures will be attacking us. And... Um, will be uh, uh what do you what do you when you put out new creatures spawning there we go we'll be spawning new creatures uh in some of the bad rooms the uh crossbones rooms and and then we'll be doing some upkeep we'll be moving the uh, comet track our time tracker then once everything's done in the tomb phase we'll go back and do another adventure phase and we continue doing that perfect so it's not that difficult as far as the structure of the game is concerned uh, during the adventurous phase, you'll be able to do a number of different things. Things like um, moving, uh, combating, using a special ability, exploring new rooms. So basically when you move, you have a movement ability on your uh, player card here. And that tells you how far you can move. So James T. Temple here can move three. So I can go one, two, three. If I do that, I'll explore a room right there. And we'll simply uh, draw tiles until we get to a tile that has the level that we're on. Okay. And then once we do that, we flip it over. We might have certain uh, special effects, like I have a map of the tomb's rooms. And so three times during the course of the game, I'll be able to discard the tile that I've drawn, but then I have to take the next one. Gotcha. That's what this one does for me. So it gives me a little bit more... Um, flexibility i guess you could say on on what rooms are going to come up and what's and so forth you can also do things like resting which will gain you more health or more courage or one of each and then you can do other things as well like dealing with the the soul monger and that kind of stuff so we will be doing that um outright so all that will happen during the first six rounds of the game in the sixth round, as denoted by the uh, scenario, Raza Zul Ahmed will show up, and then his job is to get out of the temple. Pure and simple. The only thing that will stop him is if he runs into a room that we are in. Then he will stop to try to fight us and so forth. But he will kill us. If he kills us, then he can keep moving. Perfect. Um, so you got to go first. <laughs> so that's pretty much what we're trying to do. We have to stop him. But beyond the course of that, we are going to begin with reading the scenario. Chris is here. Raz Azul can blast through the broken entrance. He says. So uh, no, he doesn't have a blaster. No, no, no. He has the power <laughs> of the undead at his behest. So Irish Falcon is here. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Christopher, thank you. If you see us doing anything wrong, I know you have to leave here in a little bit. He has a Veterans Day get-together uh, with some vets that he's going to, so he won't be able to stay the whole time. But if you see us doing anything wrong, please let us know. I'll do the best I can to try to keep us on the straight and narrow, but uh, you are infinitely better at making sure we do nothing wrong than I am. So there you have it. Hard to right. stay on the straight and narrow when she's around. I know, right? Yep. I lead them astray. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm the troublemaker. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know about that. Don't know about that. All right, here we go. We are going to be playing the Pharaoh with blue eyes. The Pharaoh with blue eyes. It can't be all that bad. The, Eter <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Eternal Order of Perseus has just received word that an ancient prophecy is about to come to pass. An EOP team recently explored and photographed a burial chamber in southern Egypt, finding a collection of glyphs which tell the story of the great pharaoh, Raz Azul Ahmed, ruling over Egypt and the entire Mediterranean for over 333 years. Raz Azul Ahmed enacted his warped desires, building his empire on the backs of slaves. Sickened by his deranged ways, the great pharaoh's own advisors used the power of the gods to finally put him to rest. Because of Raz Azul's, Azamet, Raz Azul Ahmed's unearthly powers, he could not be killed. So the advisors knew they had to bind him forever with three potent talismans. And so they did, or so they believed. 
The spell Raz Azul Ahmet has been held under for thousands of years is now about to wear off. The glyphs tell of where and when he will be resurrected. The place is in the tomb on Island X, and the time is only t two days from now. Your team will board nautical airplanes and travel southeast toward the Caribbean and to the tomb. Your first known objective is to find the Staff of Ra, one of the potent talismans. Without these talismans, it will be near impossible to prevent Raz Azul Ahmed from escaping the tomb and imposing his power and influence over the world and great power he has. So that's what we're doing. All right, so how do we go about doing this? We have to defeat Raz Azul Ahmed. He, when he awakens, the potent talismans will help us to combat him. These are the Staff of Ra, the Ruby Scarab, and the Cowl of Anubis. So these three things are what we're trying to get. Let me go ahead and put it on the second uh, screen here. These three things are what we are trying to get to help us fight Raz Azul Ahmed. All right, so what are some of the things here? Well, <clears throat> this one gives us plus two arcane power or mythos power. This one gives us plus five combat, but it gives us plus 10 against undead and horror creatures. And we discard it if we've used it three times. Raz Azul Ahmed is an undead figure. Mm -hmm. The Cowl of Anubis gives us plus one defense, and it says when you take damage... Reduce that damage by one to a minimum of one. So it gives us extra defensive damage. This one gives us plus two mythos power, but in upkeep, it also gives us plus two health. So it takes us longer to be killed, and some of these things also help us defeat Raz Azul Ahmed. All right, so what's the strategy here? We have to defeat Raz Azul Ahmed. When he awakens, the talisman will help us combat him. Uh, these artifacts are those three things that we just went over. They are more easily found deeper in the tomb, but beware, some rooms will contain elite creatures. So there are elite creatures, which are bigger baddies, and there are regular creatures, which are just regular baddies. So these guys are just simply more powerful. So the deeper you go into the tomb, the more likely it is that uh, bad dudes will, uh, the really bad dudes will come out. We have six rounds to defeat, uh, I'm sorry, to find these artifacts, bolster our defenses, and prepare for the coming of Raz Azul Ahmed. We must be vigilant when he awakens. He will try to escape the tomb and take over the world. Every creature in the tomb will be an obstacle for us, blocking us from Raz Azul Ahmed as he escapes. He will stop to kill one of us, but then he will move as quickly as possible along the shortest route out of the tomb. The moment he leaves... We fail. All right. So we've also set aside uh, three special kinds of creatures that are going to be called for in the scenario rules. So there are keepers of the tomb. There are carnivorous scarabs. And there are a couple of sphinxes that we're going to have to be fighting. Uh, while we're here, I'll just give you a basic idea of these different cards. The top one is their movement. Their three is their, is their courage attack. So every time you attack one of these bad guys, they're going to make you lose three courage because you're scaring the crap out. They're, they're scaring the crap out of you. Now, when you defeat them, you'll get some of that back, but um, we'll be taking negative effects as we go around. And if you look on your, your player board here, this courage track, basically, we can either have some boons like if we have oh, higher sure courage, yep. we have boons. And if we continue to lose uh, courage this way, we will have some defects uh, along the way. Okay. So that, that's kind of how that, that works down there. But uh, And then continuing on, they have a combat strength, which is like the vampire teeth. Their armor will de deduct the number of uh, successes we get on a combat roll. Their health is how many hit points we have to uh, uh, take them out. Uh, this is how much courage we will get back when we, we defeat them, and then the number of souls that they will give you, which were marked on the soul tracker over there, um, that we can use those souls to do certain things throughout the game. Mainly, uh, deal with the soul, uh, the spirit monger. And the spirit monger, 
Uh, this is this proves to you that this is a uh, prototype. This is just uh, yeah. uh, stuff that they've done. So different things that we can do during the course of the game is we can uh, take an action to deal with the spirit monger. And we can spend uh, spirits. Uh, for example, we can gain one audacity by spending five spirits. Or we can gain one movement, one strength, one dexterity, and one mythos for spending ten. Or one knowledge uh, for spending ten. Or we can do these other things that are just like super powerful. Uh, we can draw a random item for six. We can draw a weapon item, which is basically drawing an item until we find a weapon. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can draw a, a powerful artifact for 30. But another thing we can do is we can actually bring the spirit monger into the game to help us. And that, if that happens, um, we can uh, basically... Other things we can do is we can use uh, Cleopatra, the queen... Uh, of the Nile is actually helping us, guiding us along in this mission. And that's why we can spend spirits to do all of these things. It's like she's lending her power to help us defeat Raza Zohamet. Nice. And so we can also ask for this, the spirit's guidance for five spirits. Uh, whenever we explore a room, instead of doing a random room, we can search for the tile that we want to find. We can do Wisdom of the Nile, which means that we automatically pass a Mythos or Knowledge check. Uh, and after uh, Raza Zulamet has been awakened, we can flip her card over and then we can actually uh, bring her into the battle. And once we do that, she's like oppressing him. She's doing five damage to him every round, every tomb phase. Gotcha. So that's something that uh, we can actually do uh, later on in after he gets... But that's what that spirit monger board down there is all uh, about. So... Win conditions. Let's go back here. Win conditions. The players have to kill Razazul Ahmed after he awakens. Period. Lose conditions. If the player, if all players die or flee the tomb, because that's another thing. If we get down here, you'll see this. Flee means you're booking it. You're done. You're all the way out. I don't get paid enough for this. Right. I'm out. <laughs> there are enough alligators here. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, so, if the players die, if all the players die or flee the tomb, Razazul Ahmed has awakened and he wins. Um, if Razazul Ahmed moves out of the tomb's entrance, that's also a lose condition for us. And we'll have uh, chapters that we would have to read, uh, paragraphs rather, that we would have to read in order to uh, continue that story. All right? Right on. Okay. So, that is pretty much it. Uh, let's roll to see who goes first. How's that? Love it. Can I get two machetes, please? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I need to roll one of these? Uh, yeah, roll two. Roll two. Oh, yeah. You needed machetes. I forgot to give you your ma machetes. I got a five and a two. Let's see. The power is the eternal order of Perseus is with you. <laughs> Matthew Vincent says hello. Holger greets. Howdy. Hello, Holder. Holger. Good to see you. <clears throat> RPG guy. 1979. Good luck to the brave adventurers. Thank you, thank you. Kabuki Kid says hello, Sam, Jesse, and JT. Hello, hello. Uh, I should stop. Okay, you want... Okay, you roll the five and a two as well. Machete. Mm -hmm. And... One machete is never enough. <laughs> you need two. Any less than two is not worth it. Is that it? Just two machetes? Yep. All right. So we'll give that a, just a little bit of a... A break here. I don't have any corrections from Chris, so I am imagining that we are good to go. Just for the record, these two came on the team on their boat. They're coming to do this. My guy just happened to be here. <laughs> I'm on walkabout anyways. <laughs> I just joined in for no reason. All right, you, it's, you have cool. to speak an Australian accent for the rest of the game. No. <laughs> you, you're gone walkabout. I wish I could try, but <laughs> we don't want it to would be anything. bad. All right, I got to run. You rolled a five and a two as well? Yeah. Look I rolled a three and a two, so I'm not going first. You really? Look at that. Here. You That's a two one. and a one. Good heavens. Hey! You get to go My some favorite. Go. You get to go first. Yay! I'm not giving you back. my dice. All right, fine. Be that way. All right, so your first turn. Mm -hmm. During the adventure phase, you can move, search a room, combat, target, uh, all that kind of stuff. Right now... All we can really do is move and uh, maybe even explore if you want to. Yeah. 
So you look at your movement value, which is five. Man, you are fast. So you could technically go one, two, three, four, or something like that, because the um, scenario did did tell us that the likelihood of finding those yeah, powerful yeah. option uh, talismans are deeper in the tomb. It doesn't mean that they won't come up here, but they'll more readily come up down okay. there. One, two, three, four. Four. All right. So we look. We 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 start going through the deck. That's a one, but this is a one or a two. So this one will work. So we flip that over, and then what we're going to have to do is look at what kind of room it is. This is a trap room. It's a dart trap, and uh, it only has one Wait, instance, I think. Can I move? No. 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 No, but you do turn this over. Okay. That, that's, right. yeah, you've, you've done your action. So you found a trap room. Since it has entrances on all four sides, it doesn't matter how you orient it. But I'll just orient it so that it is. Um, camera ready. <clears throat> so it's yeah, tour of the camera. So you have entered this, and it only uh, looks like it only does it once. It's a trap. Yep, I demand it. Hi, Chris. Get big trouble reprinted. <laughs> big trouble, little China. Yep. Uh, Machete is for both hands. Irish Falcon says. Uh -huh. So. We look at down here, we look down here and we see that it's a dexterity check. Mm -hmm. So you're going to test your dexterity. Um, and if you fail, you're going to take two health hit and you're going to be poisoned, which is a status effect, which will go up here. And you'll have to follow that for as long. So you're going to take your dexterity, which is four. Mm -hmm. And so you're going to take a number of dice equal to your dexterity, and you're going to roll them, and you're wanting to get one success, either a five or a six. <clears throat> so you got one, two, three. three successes, so you're good. You don't take any health or anything like that. Uh, one thing, Chris, before we go on, I don't see any icons on here that tell us, because some trap rooms will be able to fire off multiple times. And I can't remember where that uh, information is given to us. So, Chris, if you could show me. I think this is one where it only fires off once. Copy. So, all right. You're good. Um, that's all you can basically do right now. But because this is a misadventure room, we're going to draw a card from the deck. What makes it a misadventure room? Traps and oh, the ones that have crossbones. Yeah, mm -hmm. there yeah. will be some room tiles that have like a fedora on it, and that will be an adventure room. And we read the green side of the card. Gotcha. Uh, since it's a misadventure room, uh, we read a uh, not so good side of the card. not so good side of the card. So this is courage, health, and audacity. audacity. Yes, ma'am. There's a huge chest overflowing with all types of treasure, just waiting for someone to take it. Finally, you've come across something valuable on one of these adventures. You grab a huge gem and hold it up to the light. Sounds like so, something I would do. <laughs> you're going to take your knowledge. You're going to take your knowledge skill, which is two. Mm -hmm. uh, dart trap is three times, so two after the trigger. So the skull triangle that's in there, uh -huh. we'll get two of those. So this can be fired off two more times. Gotcha. When two other people come in, or yes, okay. Not going so you're looking for one success. You got two, so we read the top of the card and not the bottom. This is for if you fail. That's for if you uh, succeed. You hear something metallic, much like gears turning. You throw the gem back into the chest, and the gears stop. You look around and find the trap you almost triggered. That was close. So that's it. Do I get to keep the jewel? Nope. I'm sad. You don't. I would grab it and run. <laughs> run! The ceiling <clears throat> spike trap is only one trigger. So there, this is a dart trap, and there's a ceiling spike trap that only has one. Mike, much louder from the left than the right. Is this intentional, Sam? You're using some special mics, spatial mic setup. Okay, yes. What we're doing here is we have uh, our mics mm -hmm. coming through channel one. And I have a shotgun mic coming through the second channel. I can boost the level of the second channel, if you would wish. That'll make it better for you. So uh, I can go can do that. Ear. Yeah, so they can have uh, the other ear blown out as well. 
<laughs> All right. All right, so that was that. Uh, I am going to also use my action to move. I only have a movement of three. Is it your turn next? How does that work? Or does it just goes yeah. like that? Yeah. Gotcha. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. I, I guess it doesn't really matter if you want to go. No, no, go ahead. I was curious. Jeez, oh, Louise, man. <laughs> I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to go three over here. So I'm in room one, so that's no. That's a no. This one has one, two, or three, so we'll flip that over. And this is the the labors of Hercules. So this is actually a pretty cool thing because this is a um, a artifact room. Yeah. And so we're gonna go in here, and nothing else happens. I don't have to pass a test or anything like that to not get hurt because that was a special thing for her misadventure room. This is an adventure room though, so that means we get to draw one of these cards and read the green side of it, so that hopefully something good will happen. But we can also do an artifact search in this room. And this is the only kind of search that they actually left in the rules where we are going to um, uh, search using, I believe it's our mythos, might be our knowledge, but I'll check that in a little bit. And we can try to find that artifact. And artifacts are usually things that are really helpful, really helpful. Gotcha. All right, so. Is it a specific artifact? Yes, it is called the uh, the Aegis of Hercules. Gotcha. So uh, we can go ahead and just take a look. You got to clean it. the stables first. <laughs> exactly. So the Aegis of Hercules uh, would give me uh, or whoever gets it uh, plus three mythos and plus one knowledge. And it says when you take damage, you roll a die on a five or six, you prevent that damage. Nice. So it's a huge shield yep. that um, would be beneficial for us to have. All right. So, but that can be later. That is a specific action that you take. I can't mm -hmm. do it right now. Right, because right. action was to move in there. Yep, that's yep. correct. Uh, you feel a strange electric charge here. After about a minute, a huge bolt of lightning strikes the center of the room, and you recognize the Greek god Zeus standing before you. He beckons wow. you to approach him. You are awestruck. Oh, I'm fat and girly. Um, so I use my... Oh, my goodness. This is not going to be good. I use my mythos. Uh, now, another thing that you can do is uh, you can use audacity on die rolls, mm -hmm. on checks. You can use one audacity to re-roll, uh, or I think you can use two audacity to g just give you a plus uh, to ensure that you have it. I'll have to double check that. But you can use the audacity before or after you roll. Gotcha. So this is Mythos. I only get two dice. Looking for a five or a six, and I did not You're get not. that at all. So I don't read the top portion. I only read the bottom portion. So Zeus assesses your inner resolve and knows you're not really meant for adventuring. <laughs> uh, so pass. He wants you to make sure you are. He gives me the blessing of the tomb. Fail. Zeus tells you your fate. You know what you must do. So Jump in the water. Uh, I, get plus, I get plus one audacity. Oh, I have to check first, though. I'm sorry. Um... So I have to check with Audacity. So I, I guess I have to get two successes. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Mm. This is an interesting one. You have to check with what? Uh, this, is, this means I have to get two successes, I think. Right. But I guess do I roll what my current is? I roll five dice, I think. Sounds normal, but I'm in the car. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, turn the other side down. Or up. Zeus is sort of famously a jerk. Be careful. Yeah. Kabuki Kid says. So I'll do this real quick, uh, Chris. Uh, what I'm basically doing it has it shows that I have to have two successes and an audacity check. It looks like. So I'm going to roll the number of dice because that's what we normally do if we have to do a certain check. The number is what we have to roll. So I'm going to roll five dice. And I have to get two successes. That's why two symbols are there. Gotcha. Um, so I got <laughs> no successes, so I fail. So I only get plus one audacity. So I get it to succeed. If I get succeed, I would have gotten the blessing of the tomb. And the blessing of the tomb is uh, when you draw a story card, it's always an adventure. It's never a mis misadventure. Oh. Uh, when you use Audacity, you can re-roll as many dice as you choose instead of, uh, instead of the entire roll. And when you get this status, you gain two. So I would have gotten two, and I would have had this mm. effect. So if you spend an Audacity, you have to re-roll your whole yes. check? Yes. 
your whole check. Gotcha. So that was it. I did get plus one audacity because I met I met Zeus. Zeus and walked away and lived to tell about it there. There you go. All uh, right. Or spend after roll and re-roll the entire roll. Okay, so you can spend one before the roll to be able to pick which ones to re-roll. Or you can spend one after the roll to re-roll the entire thing. That's what he just said. You, so, you can spend one before the roll to... Yeah, so for example, if I wanted to, um, I was going to roll five. So I spend yep. one... And I roll. Oh, I didn't get and any. And then you could re-roll some. I could re-roll so some if I wanted to. Prep. Right. Like for example, if I would have only gotten one, mm -hmm. you could have. You could. I could. I could have kept this one and then re-rolled the other ones. Gotcha. But if I wait until after I roll and spend it, then I have to pick up that one that I got and re-roll it. All right. So that's what that is. I think I did that right. <clears throat> spend before you roll and you pass on four five six instead of five six go ahead your turn all right well i'm gonna move and go this way okay you're already there i'm assuming all you're right going so you're on level one thing. so this top one is one level one two or three so you're good to go uh it Explosion looks like room. this only has one way out <laughs> it's the armory yeah see <laughs> bigger machete <laughs> there you go um so that go, I think there's only one way in, one way out. So that is that, and it's an adventure room. Yeah. Well, we have to orient right. it that yeah, way because right. we have yeah. to match up the things. Yep. Uh, now on your turn, this is another thing. Here is uh, you can do a room search, mm -hmm. which is you're basically going to search the the item deck, and you'll take the first melee weapon. It looks like, right? Is that? Yeah. I can't see what that like. icon. Yep. Is it like a strength? Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's some, that's an action that you can do in there, but uh, that's all that happens. We take, and you can do your adventure. <clears throat> Which one's the adventure? Green this side. One? Green side. As you step into the room, you see a shimmering sword floating in thin air. I'm going to steal it from you. <laughs> it moves the slide. It moves the slightest amount, then flies straight at you. Oh dear! She's not even in here. No, she said it away. Is. All right, so. <laughs> So what does three of those mean? I have to do... You a... do a dexterity check. Mm -hmm. um, so you've got a dexterity of two. two. Yeah. Um, do you have any... What does your ally allow you she to do? She attacks things and destroys things. Okay. Does she give you any bonuses when making a dexterity check? No. Okay. So go ahead and just roll your dice. So that in. means I have to have three successes? Yes. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's going to happen. There you go. No successes. No successes. Uh, it races at you, but you're even quicker. You sidestep it and it impales the wall. You try to pull it out, but it won't budge. Uh, so if you had, um, if you had uh, succeeded, it would have given you the, sim uh, the singing scimitar. But with her starting with it, uh, I don't know how that would have worked out. Uh, gotcha. But I would imagine we would have probably just let you take one of the other artifacts, top deck one of these things. Sure. I'll take that staff of raw, please. <laughs> and it didn't just fly past me. I didn't duck. I just deflected it with a machete and laughed. <laughs> <Ting. laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're back turn. to you. We're back to you, Bianca. Okay. Flip one of your other action tiles over, and you can determine what you want to do. And you can stay down here. Set the trap off again. Well, no, well I'm just here's, yeah, you would want to move out. <laughs> no, um, just stand there and set it off till it's done. And we're safe. <laughs> What's your dexterity? She does have four dexterity. Mm -hmm. She's got the most out of all of us. I'm not that dexterous. It's all <laughs> brute force. <laughs> Cue the scene from Bugs Bunny and the Singing Sword. That's probably true. I don't remember that. Bugs Bunny's going to be gonna my do, breakfast. Baby? So I should move and explore? Is that Probably so. You want to go here or should you want to go over there? Move that, that this way? way? All right. So can you go, go this way too? You can. Yeah, we would just have to move the thing. Gotcha. These two are um, adjacent. This leads to this room, right. so but you can. Straight down. Yeah. You just fall in the hole. Yeah, pretty much. In the the room. All right, so that is over there, and we're on level two. So this has one, two, and three. So we'll flip it over. <laughs> Zeus is is finding his way around the temple apparently because you found Mount Olympus here. Another dead end. And it's another dead end, right? 
so there's that. So, but this is another kind of room where this actually triggers a scenario trigger. So we come over here, yeah. and the first time we have one of the uh, number one come up, we will read. Um, ba -ba, let's see where is it? Unleash the curse of the mummy. So we read one point one. So this is Mount Olympus, and we will look. We can go over here and try to look for Zeus's bolt. We can do that, nice. but something else is going to happen in here. All right, all around the room there are engravings, hieroglyphs, and ancient relics from the age of the Egyptian empires. They mention Ra's Azul Ahmed many times. As you search these histories for clues, you wake something from its deep slumber. Its disembodied blues, blue eyes flash in the darkness. The loud, maniacal laughter echoes in the depths of your mind, mesmerizing you for a moment. You try to resist. You attempt to resist the curse. So, what you'll have to do is you have to roll your mythos. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Which is one. And pass or fail. <laughs> you passed. Pass. So, you resist the curse. Uh, you, you would have been given the curse of the tomb had you failed that. And so. you would have turned into Raz Azul. Mm, Al Ghul. <laughs> but you don't, you don't take, you pass... You, you you didn't, and nothing else happened, so you're good to go. And that's all that happens for you on your turn. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, should I try to get the ages? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I think I will. Um, let me look that up. Thank you for doing that. Uh, da -da. It's page 18. You don't want it, I want it. Yeah, I know, I right? I do two machetes in one hand and the okay, ages in the so other. Okay, so artifact room... An adventurer can spend one action to take a risk and search this room for an artifact, um, which is two audacity. So I have to get two, I have to do an audacity check and get two successes. Hmm. Okay. So that's what I'll do. Audacity is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I have to get two successes. Um, I'll actually spend one. Hmm. Yep, roll current audacity. Oh, roll current audacity. What if I spend one? I'm just going to do it. Roll current audacity, which is six. And I have to get two successes. There's one. I spent one, though, so I can re-roll. Uh, and... Nope, missed it. So I have to lose two audacity. Bink, I did not get you it. You had to lose two, auda two audacity? Yes, because you searched and you didn't find it. Uh -huh. And you're like, sucker, oh. you know, sucker. But if you find it, you'll lose one audacity, but you get the, you get the artifact. So uh, you, there, you there couldn't is spend there. another audacity to re-roll everything? Not, you, you, you choose before, before or, or after. after. Copy. Yeah, before or after. All right. Yep. You'd lose a die before you roll. Okay, well, I, I would have done it anyway. I would have rolled five anyway. I didn't get it. We're not going to change anything. Nope. All right. Uh, that's it. That's uh, that's my turn. So that's my second action. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to search in here. What is I? I just uh, get a pick until I get a weapon? Yes, sir. Are they so, better than the machetes? or? Possibly. You could get ranged weapons. You could get a sword. You could you get a lot of different things. No, this one, no, this that has, one has a oh, search one. Yep. action okay. in it. So. All right, so you're going for... Oh, oh there you go. Elephant weapon. gun. That's not a melee weapon. Oh, okay. Then, uh, elephant gun could be a melee weapon, right? <laughs> there we go. There Battle go. axe. What? <laughs> Do I have to... I've got Crocodile and ND walking around with a battle axe over That's here. That's right. <laughs> Is there a limit on how many items we can carry or anything like that? Every six roll deals two damage. How many items can I have? Uh, unlimited. Nice. But you can only use, like, I think that's a two-handed weapon, I think. Uh -huh. You can only use, yeah. like, if you yep. use both of them, your machetes, uh, you use either your machetes or your battle axe. You can't use all of them. All right. Okay, that was my turn. All right. 
Jess, go for it. This is a empty room, so you could try to search for Zeus's bolt, or you can go and and. Uh, and is Zeus's bolt the same thing? She has to do an audacity roll, or what is it? Is it different? Mm -hmm. Nope, it's the same thing. Audacity roll, and you have to get uh, two successes. How do you get more audacity? Um, well, you can spend souls to get more audacity through mm -hmm. the spirit monger. Uh, and then some effects will give you uh, extra audacity. But audacity is one of the harder things to get. Okay. Go ahead, babe. <clears throat> no item limit. Kabuki Kid says, bag of holding. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Chris laughed at your elephant gun. Could be a melee weapon. Elephant. <laughs> it, absolutely. What you got, babe? Uh, um... You can search for that deal, or you can go look around. Yep, or you can go look around, one of the two. Okay, so if I move to a different space, like yep. if I go one, two. Yep, you and can take can another tile. Do and you're on the second level, so we come down here. And so do you want it to go off this way, or do you want to go off that way? Because there's I don't, two. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. And you found the sword in the stone. So Excalibur is in here. What? You got <laughs> Zeus and Excalibur. <clears throat> yeah. I and like Zeus to pull and the, the armory. Piece. And the armory and uh, Hercules. So mm -hmm. everything's in this. Perfect. Perfect. But first things first, we do have a, another trigger effect for the scenario. So let's go back to the scenario. And this is this is in the Caribbean. This this is at this is at Planet uh, I'm sorry Island X Island X in, in the, the Caribbean. Caribbean in the Bermuda Triangle I think is where it's supposed oh. to be. Gotcha. I thought you read earlier it was in the Caribbean. That's no, what he said. I didn't know is Zeus it? was in the Caribbean. Zeus could be. No, in this is like a mystical tomb that oh, travels travels around from yes. civilization to civilization, stealing one room at a time. All right. So the I first know, time, always pass whatever that era I, yep. is. the first time we uh, traps too. find a level two trigger, um, we go to the first talisman, the staff of Ra. In the center of this room is a strange platform, and on it sit three huge sarcophagi shaped in the likeness of the great sun king Ra. On the centermost sarcophagus, Ra's hands are crossed over his chest, holding the legendary staff of Ra. This is what you've been searching for. What luck! Pulling with all your might, you yank the staff from the once pristine coffin. As you remove it, the lids of the coffins float up into the air, releasing plumes of horrid fumes, and then smash to the floor. Out of the coffins emerge three huge reanimated mummies. This can't be happening. The legends are true. So we're going to take, uh, if you can take uh, three of those standees over there. Doesn't matter what color. Um, let's go ahead and do, um, let's do, are there three brown ones? Nope. Okay. Just doesn't matter. Just do three reds then. That's fine. <clears throat> so we have three. Uh, your dad. Keepers of the tomb show up. This is really freaky because this is almost exactly what happened in my uh, playthrough with it of Chris earlier this week. Nice. That's actually pretty funny because Bianca went into uh, the Sword in the Stone tile, found Ra, mm -hmm. had to fight these three guys, and... Well, as long as you pull the sword, you should be able to... <laughs> Yeah, right? pretty much. All right, so three keepers of the room. Uh, you, when you defeat all three, you gain the Staff of Ra. And we can help you. So it's not like you're having to do it all by yourself. Well, you kill the first two. I'll come kill the third one okay. and take the Staff. Yep, that is the thing. All right, so a couple of things here. Um, this is actually a little advantageous because I have Deadeye. And it says, I can combat a creature up to three rooms away. If a creature is not in an adjacent room, creature does not do damage back to me. So I'm one, two, three rooms away. I you could can shoot, shoot yes. around corners and yes. whatever, downstairs? Yes. Huh. Don't, don't tell me how. <laughs> don't ask me how. 
But yes, you can because We've all seen that movie. Hollywood <laughs> cinematic. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yep. <laughs> So I can do that with your, um, pit, with your rifle. With my M1A1, that is correct. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to use my M1A1 rifle, which gives me plus five combat. It's a dexterity weapon, so I'm going to add my three to it. Uh, then I'm a rifleman, so I get plus two when using two-handed weapons, which the uh, M1A1 is a two-handed weapon. Uh, and this guy gives me plus one attack. This is my guy that's following with me, so I get uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dice. So three, six, nine, ten. I'll have to re-roll. Oh, no. I'll I don't know what you... you keep one. Man! <laughs> greed. It's all right, greed. so this is cool because it'll allow us to go through a mm -hmm. combat thing. Yeah, still does that It'll let us to go through combat. All right, so I roll the dice here. Holy so macaroni. I have five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so I have five hits here. The sixes are are what go straight through armor. If the person has any armor but these guys don't have any armor they have a zero armor so we don't even have to, they just act like regular hits right now okay so first things first i'm attacking him so i'm going to lose two courage doesn't matter if i'm not in the same room as him or not if i'm attacking mm -hmm. him he's scaring the crap out of me so i get minus two courage all right second thing is he has a combat value of three which means that if i do three or more he doesn't do me any damage but if i only do two hits to him He'll do one damage to me. If I only do one hit to him, he'll do two damage to me. So it's 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 how much they're going to inflict towards us. Okay. And we have to basically beat that to not get damaged by it. I'm not in that room anyway, so it's not going to do me any damage, If even if I had ruled poorly. Sure. But anyway, I do one, two, three, four, five damage. Uh, he has no health. I'm sorry, no um, uh, armor, and he has five health. So I did five damage to him. I knock him out. And then, because I knocked him out, I get one bat, one courage back. Oh, they're not as bad as I thought they were. And then they also give us three souls to mark on the track over there, which we can use now uh, to do some of those uh, spirit monger uh, boons that we have. So, you awakened the mummies. I took one out for you Thanks, right off the bat. Um, and that is that. Your turn, J JT. All right. Bonnie Crew is here. Sam, I heard you're going to be in Calgary in a couple weeks. Are you taking anybody with you? Yes. Me and JT. I'm going. Me and JT are going to be there. That's next week. Yep, next next weekend. We're actually flying on Thursday. Yep. Got it. All right. I knew that. He's like, oh, yeah, did you know? <laughs> Hope you Just hope a you reminder. Knew. We're leaving on Tuesday now, <laughs> just so you can freaking figure that out. <laughs> All right. All right, well, I think I'm going to have to run down there to help. I can't help, but I can get down there. Okay. Right. So, is, you're, is what's your movement? Is there any damage? Three. Is there anything three, I take if I just enter their room? One, they don't two, get to attack until three. Nope. After yeah, they won't we're attack until, until the tomb phase. Okay. All right, so you just move down there for your movement. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Jess. All right. Do I have this for combat? Yep, you can. Uh, this will give you uh, five dice, and it ignores armor. So any hits, you don't have to roll a six. It'll go straight through your armor. But these guys don't have any armor. Right. So that's but really not useful right now. Which is my combat. Your combat is, it, it depends on whatever your weapon that you're is using is. Um, no. This one uses, a, this just gives you a straight up five, five dice. Mm -hmm. So you look at your, your weapons over here. Mm -hmm. and it matches. So can you use range ones in? Yes, you absolutely can. Same so, room? Yep, so this one's going to give you, what's that, plus three? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on upkeep, you have, to, you have to roll to see if it's still loaded. Um, you can also use that. What does the uh, grappling hook do for you? It says, discard place rope token. Unlike the regular rope, to rope token, you may place a rope token from a lower level to an upper level. Mm-hmm. Okay. So nope, it doesn't. Not in this not in combat. So that works. gives you three dice. Yes. Then this gives you four dice. Um. 
You always so pass um, those kinds of checks. Trap master. So, oh, we, we forgot to do that. It. It Dang it. Matter. Remove one trap checker token from a room with each success. So you did have a success, so that would have removed one. Isn't that as an action? That's nope, yep, that is an action. action. Yep, yep, yep. You're right. So you can you can do that. But you can, if you go back, go in, back here, in here, I can remove one. Yeah, you can remove one. Um, but you get plus three to all trap checks. So you're going to be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To discard this item. Nope. No, you don't have to discard it. You it's just, you just it. keep it. Yep. Okay. So you're going to get seven dice with that and only five dice with this. Okay, so this seven. Yeah. So three, four, five, six, seven. And you're just trying to get, um, there we go. There's one. That's it. Oof. Okay. Um, let me double check one thing. Cause something's telling me four, four, fives, and sixes. But I don't think so. Nope. <clears throat> nope. Okay, so you got one that went through. So we take one of the one teardrops over there. Uh, and we'll just say that you were attacking this one. Um, but he does two damage back to you because he has three and you did one to him. So you take the difference. So with this one right here, just move that down twice. One, two. No, there you go. Um, uh, but you would have also taken three, uh, three courage as well. Nope. And that's that for your... Turns. So you lose courage every time you hit them? Oh, Yeah, you lose courage every time you attack. Does, well, it depends on the card, doesn't it? Well, it depends. So it, why it, was it the, These guys are all the same because... Three. Oh, I'm sorry, two. Just two. Just two. Just two. You're right. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, I'm going to... Um, hmm... I'm just going to keep shooting. I like it. Because otherwise, otherwise, yeah, um, oh, no. I would have to just move down there, and then I wouldn't be able to attack again. So I'm just going to use my dead eye again, and that will give me uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so that would have been your last action. Mm. Oh, because you went first, yeah. You're correct. Mm. What a horrible roll. One, two, no, three. Uh, three damage. So I don't take any damage. I wouldn't have taken any damage anyway because I'm not in the room. But uh, I do go minus one, two. Even if you kill them, you take damage? You get one back. That's that last... No, no, damage. Yes. Because it's, mm -hmm. it's like a combat sequence. It's not like um, I punch you... You punch me. It's sure. like it's it's uh, it's more of a sequence than anything else. But uh, I do three damage to him, so three more go on him, and that's that. That's all. That's my turn. All so right. up to you. Well, I'm going to attack. So how does this work? So if I use, so what is this? What does that mean? Does that mean it's a okay to, free hit for, for all of your misadventure checks? It's plus one. Oh, For all of your misadventure checks, checks, you get plus one to all of your misadventure checks. Gotcha. Uh, you, so that doesn't do anything in combat. That gives you plus two combat. Right. The, the top line there, it gives you plus two. So if you're right. using well, both I'll of your machetes, the, you're I'll getting plus one. i use the battle four. axe then, because it has four. Well, uh, you can use both your machetes at the same time, because they're two single-handed. That has four as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the battle axe, gives me double damage on sixes. Ooh, okay. Um... What does this mean? The creature gets negative two against me. That's when they're attacking me, right? Well, it, and it's also in this. So when you're fighting it, it has whatever its combat value is, minus two. So right now it has a combat value again of one against you. So when you're fighting it, it's a combat value of one. When we're fighting it, it's a combat value of three. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, except for this is when I'm using a machete. So if I use the battle axe, does that not count? That's correct. Oh, well. I'm going to try to... Well, I guess if I'm going to try to kill that that guy, I'll just 
the wiener that, yeah. that's been hit. Okay. I'll just get seven then. Okay, seven dice. Now, when can I use her ability? She gets to deal three damage to a creature up to three rooms away. I probably should have done that before. Yeah, let me then see. she gets tapped. When does she untap? Mm -hmm. When does she un exhaust? Uh, ba -ba -ba. I'm not use I would here, imagine but. this has to be an action. I think that there is a uh, allies action that oh, okay. you can use uh, whenever you use your thing. You can use. Um, oh, where is it? It's on this right here. Uh, you can uh, pick out, use an artifact or companion, ally, whatever. So you would use. Some yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. You match your successes with their combat score. The difference between your successes and their combat is damage you take. Yeah. Um, will player standees be double sided? Yes, they will. Um, and <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, I guess I did two damage. You were using the battle axe? Nope, I was using the machetes. Oh, the machetes? Okay, so Didn't you... you say fives and sixes are successes? Yes. Okay. Yes, that's absolutely correct. But you said the battle axe does double damage on the six. I that's know. Why I, I was asked. using the machetes, so his okay. strength is only one. Okay, cool. So he doesn't do any damage to you. You do two to him, and right. that knocks him out. But that you, you get one courage back to you. Oh, and I lose courage for fighting him. Two, well, just lose one, because you lost two, and you got one back for okay. killing him. All right, um, I can go back over there. And did you lose courage for shooting him again? Or, or? I believe I did because okay. I would have lost one, two. Oh yeah, three. Yeah, you're right. Lost. And then you got one back. So I did get one back. Yeah. Yep. Because Fair I enough. killed one. Okay. Well, that means our turn is done. Our turn is done. So now what we do is uh, we're going to uh, draw a tomb card and tomb effect. All deal no damage this tomb phase. So. We can't deal any damage to bad guys during the tomb phase. Only they deal damage to us. Move creatures. Well, he would move, but he doesn't because he's got somebody to fight. So sure. nothing happens there. Creature combat. Um, so uh, they're going to choose... Uh, who does it fight? That's what I can't remember. Um, ba bum Combat. Attempt to move, no. Lose, no. Uh, create combat pull, no. Uh, Chris, if there's two viable targets in the room, who does it choose? I think it's uh, the person that has least the health. least health or something like that. My goodness. What are you doing over there? I was trying to watch this stream so I could see what was in chat. <laughs> But apparently there's okay. ads on this stream, so... Well, I try to make it <laughs> as... I was going to look at chat. ...user-friendly as possible. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Pick a scenario. Um, Chris, after health. Okay, player choice, after health. So whoever has the least amount of health... Um, it's her. Right it's now. her. Okay, so she attack, uh, it attacks her. Now, the same thing happens. You're going to be rolling... Uh, dice as well. So you get uh, against their combat value. So you're going to get um, uh, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that's and that's it. Yeah. So two, four, six, seven. So you roll those dice and you're, st you're trying to get above three just like normal. And if you get below three successes, then they're going to do damage on you. But because of the tomb effect, we're not going to deal damage to them. So you got one uh, two, two, two successes, so it does one damage to you. Um, and that's that. Oh, did we get the other three soul shards from you killing this one? No. Uh, it should be up to six now. Yeah, there you go. All right. Um, so it did one damage to you. <coughs> that's that. We don't do any damage back to it because of this. And, um... Now we are going to spawn creatures. So we look for misadventure rooms uh, or traps. So the, the misadventure rooms and the traps will have this like red border around them in the final thing, so it'll be easier to see. But generally speaking, we're looking for these symbols. And there's uh, some skull and crossbones. Okay. Um, 
no. not skull and, and crossbones. No. But they'll they'll have a symbol that looks like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, we're gonna start this one. And so we just have that one right. So we have one regular dude in there, which is going to be a stone spirit of Olmec. So if we can get a uh, standee for him. And then two bad guys. Oh, snap. Two big bads. We have a doppelganger and a skeleton pirate in here as well. Oh, but that's on level one. Never mind. There are no level twos or threes. I'm stupid. You're in, this is in level two. This is in level one. And so in level one, that's where these would happen. We don't no, have any right bad rooms. Level two. Level two. I know, but level two here doesn't have gotcha. anything. Oh, okay. And level three doesn't have anything. It, these are only spawned in level one. Nice. We don't have any misadventure rooms up here. Okay. So this wouldn't spawn at all? Yep. Doesn't spawn. Huh. Doesn't spawn. That's my bad. Oh, that went in the wrong stack. All right. So nothing happens there. Upkeep. So now we need to look at our stuff here and see if anything needs to upkeep. Your gun, for example, needs, uh, says roll how much? Roll a die on a discard, on, on one, one discard. Yep. So roll your, roll a die, and if you roll a one, your gun's jammed and you can't use it anymore. If you didn't, you're good. Uh, you don't have any other upkeep. Um, my upkeep just refreshes, so that's done. Um, ba -ba -ba, just roll, da -da -da. Nothing here. So, are these are you using these guys an action? Yes. Okay. That's that's correct. So then we flip over. Yes. I'm sorry. Flip over our bullets. Yes, that's correct. But that's during the refresh, uh, the upkeep phase, and then at the very end, we uh, advance uh, to one, I believe. So one, two, three. So yes. Yep. And that's that. You want to so, put me back in that room? Yes. That's correct. All right. Flip all over all of our tokens. And the first person marker flips to the next one. We don't actually have a first person marker. But it goes to me. Yep. So uh, I think I'm just going to take another shot with my uh, dead eye. So we can get that staff of raw and kind of be done. But I'm super low on uh, courage right now. But got to get it. So I'm going to go uh, one, two. How do you get more courage? Um, it's a good question. Can't remember off the top of my head. Let me do my turn and then I'll get back to it. All right. Um, that's just how my brain works. It doesn't. That's totally fine. It doesn't. Uh, All right, shoot this see. sucker. So I'm going to shoot. You get seven dice. No, it's like 11 dice. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Um, cue the cowardly lion. Courage, I need courage. <laughs> Looks like Chris is not around. Yeah, he may have to leave. Did he, he say he had to leave? He did. He said okay. he had the Veterans Day thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Said that. Well, no, I know well, he said, said that, that earlier. But, but he yeah, if, that, if he that. is still here, a quick answer to the courage question would be good, but I, I will look for it afterwards. So here's my shot. I got a five there. I got a five here. And that's that. So I take a hit on damage. No, you don't take damage. Oh, that's, that's right. I'm not, I'm not around. I'm not around. But... Um, Two fives does two damage to him. But I didn't get any courage back. So uh, that's it for me. Go ahead. All right. Well, I'm going to try to hit that guy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> two machetes. Oh, those are not pretty looking. Look at that. I you remember, you can use your everything. audacity. Everything. Yeah. So when I use an audacity on a four, five, or six, there's successes. Okay. Because I wrestle with gators. <laughs> Look at that. One, four, barely. Two, two, three. 
three. All right, so you don't take any damage, but that does kill him. So we get three more souls, and right. you get a courage back. Yep. All right, we've got nine souls. All right, so let's revisit what we can use those souls for. And then, um, so we have nine. We could gain an audacity, remove a status effect. Is that so if for she one had been, person? Hmm? Is that for one person? Yes. One person can gain one audacity. Yes. For nine? Yes. Whew. No, 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 no. That's for five. Oh. That's for five. Um, we can, if we had, the, we can't afford the, well, we can draw a random item for six. Uh, but remember that we are also saving up, um, like we can use five to do Queen's Guidance, uh, which will help us explore rooms. Mm -hmm. And then we can also use uh, three spirits to pass a Mythos or Knowledge Check on a Story Card or Scenario Trigger effect. Gotcha. Okay? So those are things that we can do there. Um, he said he was in his car. Yes, he did say he was in his car. So... Um, we may or may not have that, so I'm going to look at that real quick. Uh, but, uh, Jess, I think it's your turn. So, mm -hmm. uh, you killed the last person, though, so we do get the Staff of Ra. And you killed him, so go ahead and do that. Uh, go ahead and read out what that says. So where does that go on my thing? Over here? Uh, it's, it's, a, um, it's an artifact, so go ahead and just put it down here. Okay. In this little sector. But what does it do for so us? So it says it's a mythos type weapon, which my mythos sucks. Is that mythos is the... Not the blue, it's the purple. purple. You have a three mythos. Uh, why does it have a blue icon up here? Oh, because it's not mythos. That's knowledge. Oh, it uh, says mythos there. Oh, it does. Well... It says knowledge and then it's... Or it has yeah. a knowledge symbol and then it This is a prototype, here. so yeah, Got it's it. a typo. So it I would imagine I would weapon. imagine it's a mythos weapon, and I think the icon is probably wrong. Gotcha. So your mythos is three. Mm -hmm. uh, so whenever you're using it gives me a plus five, mm -hmm. or I can s spend it to do ten to an undead. No, I think it just gives you plus ten combat if you're battling oh, if an I'm undead. It, but I can only use it three times. Yes. Is there a counter on things like that? Are you turning the card? I would imagine you turn the card. Uh, other uh, other things. So I can only attack with that thing three times. With that special ability, it also it always gives you plus five. But if I attack, I can only attack three undead with it. No, you you can only attack it three times to get the plus ten. Oh, okay, gotcha. You always get the plus five. Gotcha. But if you're attacking an undead, you can get plus ten by by clicking it once. Okay. Um. And now I am looking for that uh, courage. So actually, it's probably pretty good with me then, because I have courage. the highest mythos. Yeah. For now. Yeah, that's right, absolutely right, fine. Right, Page right. eight. <clears throat> I'm looking it up. Who said don't forget to add the souls? Dark souls. If I die, do I lose my souls? <laughs> Sorry, got to go for now. Good luck. Best of luck. Okay, see you later, Chris. He didn't hear the question. That's fine. Uh, enjoy your time, buddy. Uh, let's see. Be well, Chris. Uh, with Wamps and Chain Chomps. Or Goonies. LOL, Goonies. Hmm. Um, all right, so each adventurer has a courage value that ranges from 10 to plus 10. Uh, positive courage may confer special benefits or abilities. Negative courage can can confer penalties as well. So right now I'm at minus two story checks. Mm -hmm. uh, if you contain, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, um, when we defeat, I think everybody gets that plus one. I can't remember. Uh, going down to negative ten is very bad. Usually it will cause you to immediately begin fleeing the tomb. Unlike the plus ten courage. Uh, where you have reached. Oh, I, I remember. You can rest on your turn, and you'll get. You can get plus mm. two health or plus two courage, mm -hmm. or you can get one of each. Okay. So on your turn, you can rest. Uh, that that is uh, one way. And then other things will give you bonuses to courage as well. When you defeat these monsters, you get a bonus to courage, uh, and so forth and so on. But uh, let me look up one more thing, and then we'll just simply continue. And that is during combat, 
if they are defeated, does everybody get that bonus to courage, or is it just the person attacking? Huh? I don't think you've done anything yet. Yes, classic skipping chat and not understanding it out of context. You are absolutely correct. I do that often. What did you do? I don't know. I just say things, and it's like, huh. Um, you know, I, I just read stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay. I have no idea what that means. But it's because the conversation is, sure. has continued to go, and you can't understand it. Uh, when he reads them several minutes later, yes. Just jump on. Tell us again what this game is. Kickstarter. It is, Glenn. Uh, it's on. It's on GameFound, not Kickstarter. Uh, so there's that. Uh, lose courage, resolve damage, and criticals. Defeating creatures. The adventurer who dealt the killing blow gains the soul shards. Uh, each other adventurer gains one soul shard, um, but that's different. That's changed. Each adventurer who gains soul shards re regains courage equal to half uh, the dead creature's courage attack rounded up. So, okay, so. It should have been two each, not one, uh, when we killed them. So you should get a plus one. Say that again. Read that line again. Yep. Sorry. Nope. It says that when we kill, when when one of those guys dies, uh -huh. um, you, and of course I had my finger in it. Here it is. You did. Um, the adventurer who dealt the killing blow gains the souls on the board. Sure. Um, each other adventurer in the same room gains one soul shard, but that's different. That's been yep, changed, yep. so we're going to ignore that. Each adventurer who gains soul shards gains courage equal to half the dead creature's courage attack rounded up. So the courage attack was two, so we would have been getting one. So you're right. Never mind. So, But it says everybody gets a soul shard. So Yes. So, so that means we should have been whoever whoever killed them. Who killed you? Killed I killed one. I killed one, and then so I should I should not be that. Low. You should get two more, two back. Yeah, Did and I, I just kill? I just took it. You t you killed one. Actually, I killed two. Okay, so you take. So I should get one more back. Yeah, and then you should get three. Yep. So everybody gets it. Gotcha. Everybody gets that courage boost. Not just yep. the person. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Get three. Mm -hmm. Because there were he three. killed one. And there were, killed, yeah, I, I killed, killed one. Two, so. She killed, and he killed two. Yeah. Why Seven I? days left. That is correct, Irish Falcon. Thank you. Um, it is on GameFound, not Kickstarter. I want to make sure that's clear. Kabuki Kid, thank you for putting a link in the chat. I appreciate it. Um, so yes, we, it is on GameFound right now. You can go back. It is doing very well. It's over a half a million. Uh, with a truckload of backers, so uh, it's doing well. Uh, go check it out, and you know if anything you see here is is piquing your interest, then then uh, go give it a whirl. See what they have to offer. Right. Um, Jess, you're up. Yeah. Okay. If I go back in that room, I trigger the effects, even though I remove it. Well, like you, you what you could do... Well, here's what possibly you should have done. You could have stayed there and, and as an action, tried to take them removed off, but, all of these off. Yeah. Because right. you do a dexterity check, and for every success, you get to remove one of right, these tokens. Right. If you go back in there right now, it's right, going to trigger it again. So. But you are very high dexterity, and you only have to get one success. So, I mean... Uh, and, and you get plus three to all trap checks. So that's plus three dice. So you're rolling seven dice for, for dexterity checks. Or you could just keep exploring. Yeah. Either way. You can keep exploring, too. So I'm just trying to tell you mm -hmm. what your character is able to do. But that's a dead end. We can't go from that rim. No, you can, go, you can go this way. Oh, you can go that way. You can go, go that, that way. way, yeah. Or okay. you can search for Excal Excalibur that's in here. You can do that. Mm -hmm. um, that's an uh, audacity check. So you roll as many dice. You have three. You have three audacity dice. You need to get two successes to find Excalibur if you want. Or you, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't worry about I that. Say, let's just go that way. Okay. No, so you're going to move over here. Sure. You're on level two, which is what this one is, uh, and it's another. Uh, this is the uh, Atrium of the Elder Sign. So uh, creatures may not move through this room, but it excludes elite creatures. No, not elites. That is the. Uh, 
Uh, that excludes the uh, these the guys, boss. the mm -hmm. bosses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the Seal of Solomon is in here, though, so that's another artifact that you could uh, make. So right here, what we would do is we would have to. We can basically orient this any way we want. Um, normally, we would uh, have to do this, but I don't think that matters right now. Uh, this is just a wall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But So you have one, two more exits over here, and you are in here now, but it is a... Uh, it triggers that number two again. So Does that two have multiple things? Yeah. First time you it, it, the, the the thing will the thing will tell you the first time you you encounter yeah. it you read this the second time you read that and so forth. So the um, second time you find the ruby scarab. So mm. you feel an intense power here. It must be the next potent talisman. After searching for a while, you notice a dull red glow emanating from a gem embedded in a huge statue of Kepri, god of scarabs. It's the ruby scarab. As you pry it from the statue, the stone springs to life and swarms of scarabs burst from the hole previously covered by the gem. Place two carnivorous uh, scarabs. Maybe you should stop touching gems. <laughs> well, it you was... know, the problem is, they're big. it's like the scene in Aladdin, and you just really want to touch it. All right, so two uh, carnivorous scarabs and swarm tokens in this room. Y when you defeat them all, gain the ruby scarab. So these two I'm things will go in there. I'm just trying to help there. you guys give targets. I'm giving you targets. I'm oh, going in, let me see finding one of those the cards. evil things. I can't get it in there. Oh, because I'm putting it upside down. <laughs> I'm, I'm going in the room, happened. finding the evil things, and then saying, hey, guys, come get them. Okay, so we get, I think this room gets um, X equals 6. Okay. So these swarm characters are going to go in here, and I need to read about... <laughs> Uh, what swarm means because this is something else. All right, let me find I'm good it. Good at it. I find the bad guys. You guys find it, but I've also found all the, the uh, things that we need. Sure. So you have. You're you're doing extremely well. Swarm. Right. I'm finding the. I'm finding the stuff. I'm just making you guys. Twenty one. All right. Let's see here. Sixteen. What is this symbol that I understand? I don't know. Some kind of check that we haven't seen. What is it? We always check. pass checks. Yeah, I don't know either. Cat burglar. We haven't seen that check yet. Might be cat burglar. Some kind of stealth thing. Yeah. Know. Must be. All right, swarm creatures. Uh, swarm creatures move and fight in packs or groups, like, like zombie hordes, packs of wolves. Uh, they have a swarm X in their special ability box. When the swarm creature spawns, place X... Swarm tokens near its creature card. These tokens uh, move with the card. The combat rating of a swarm creature equals its current number of swarm tokens. Uh, so when a swarm creature takes damage equal to or greater than its health, remove one swarm token and all health tokens. Uh, any damage in excess of the equal health applies to the next swarm token. So it has... F uh, it has two health, and it, each of those get six swarm tokens each. Do you have sw six don't swarm? Even have six swarm tokens. Okay. Um, oh, again, it, it, it's a prototype. Anyway, so. It's a prototype, so. Well, if they got one, and move the tokens. To yep. When no tokens remain, the swarm creature dies, and the adventurers gain courage uh, and soul shards as normal. When calculating the outnumber bonus in combat, count each. That's something I haven't told you about. Um, but uh, there you have it. Two nasty giant swarms. Of yeah, giant swarms of beetles. Um, With six okay. attack. RPG guy. Okay, guys, have to go now. Good luck. Have fun. I will See enjoy ya. watching the recording later. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, or the red button with the do not push label. I'm just... I don't understand what these guys are doing. Hey, they're probably telling me all the things I shouldn't do. Don't pick up the jewels at Jesse. That's don't press right. the red button that says do not push. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you went in there. You found them. I went in there and That's I found them. That's your turn. 
Yep. That was my journey. All I did was correct. discover them. Now and I'm, I'm too far away fear. now for Dead Eye, so I'm going to have to move down there. I'm frozen in fear, so I'm not moving. Do we want to try to get the Aegis again? Seems like um, I, I don't think we need to. I mean, it's it's a really good thing, but I think we'll just move. I think I'm just going to move down. Go one, two, three. And um, that's all I'm going to do. So I can try to get closer and help out with these scarabs. Carnivorous scarabs. So to reiterate, each one of those swarm tokens has two health, basically. I believe so from what we read. And when we attack, I'm going to lose two resolve. Yeah, but the combat rating of a swarm creature is equal to the current number of swarm tokens. So they're both super tough right now. Mm -hmm. So their combat rating is six, meaning... That's correct. You have to get six hits, you know, otherwise you're going to start taking a lot of damage. You're going to take a boatload of damage. Yep, yep, yep. Hmm, well, that sounds fantastic. So when a swarm creature takes damage equal or greater than its health remove one swarm token and all health tokens any damage in excess of the health applies to the next swarm right. token right, and you right. continue doing that sure. until um so you've ticked them down until you've taken out all of those swarm tokens and then if they have damage left then they're dead mm -hmm. so they're they're super tough you found some nasty creatures Congrats. I also found the ruby. Well, it would be nice if we had some nasty weapons, like an elephant gun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to have Katrina shoot in there. Okay. She's going to do three damage to a creature in up to three rooms away. Okay. So she's going to do three damage. All right. So right that now. is... So it's going to do one token and one damage. One token and one damage. Yeah. So now he's a little bit weaker. Yep. All right. Put that back over there. So that's what you did. Um, your turn. No. Yeah. Yep. Your turn. Because all I did was move. I would open and up a can if I were you. This is my combat, and I can use it. What did you say? It gives me plus three. So, so you should open a can? Yep. Right, so that gives me seven, right, if I use my... Mm-hmm. Yep. Starts One thing your... I want to bring up, though, is that this goes through armor, and they do have one armor. Okay. But it's only five dice, so it, it's up to you. What does the one armor do? It reduces it one reduces hit. one hit. Yes, gotcha. that's correct. But we still have to get the other pieces yeah, first. That's true. We do have to get. We have a lot of work to do. So. Okay. Oh, and I lose two for attacking. No, I didn't attack. Never mind. Yeah, but I think you get one back because you did kill. Well, no, I you did. didn't kill the creature yet. No. Never mind. Because those things are going to wipe out our. Resolve. <laughs> what usually happens when a swarm of scarabs in those movies, the adventurers turn tail and run. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. You got, you got two. See, one, two. That's it. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So basically what you'll do is... Um, Just kill one. Yep. Kill one. This goes away and then this goes away as well. Yeah, except for the damage that goes through would continue on to the next one anyway. So you're just doing two damage to this one and leaving one damage on the next one. Leaving one damage, okay. All right, and then you would take three damage. Yep. You might want to get out of there. Can you just walk away? Uh, yeah. You don't have to... Nope. What happens on their turn? Do they move in and attack? They will. At the tomb phase, they will. Yeah. All right. Well, you're up. So my thing is uh, I'm going to do uh, Deadeye. Uh, so I won't take any damage, but I will lose two courage. And I'm going to roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you lose your two courage? Eight, nine, mm -hmm. ten, eleven. You were all the way up there. Nice. Nice. No, Courage. Oh, no. You lose that for attacking, too. I did this one. Yep, that's health. You lose that, too. And I lose three? Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jesse knows it. She knows what they were. You knew what they were talking about. I didn't know what they were talking about. That's normal. <coughs> All right. Four. Five. Um. These are all misses. So one, two, three, four, five. Um. So. For everything above their combat rating, I don't take any damage. I wouldn't anyway. But for for their combat rating right now is one, two, three, four. Okay. So I I wouldn't take any damage anyway. But uh, one of those is taken away because of their armor. And then four damage. So that's going to be one, two, and then they have one left, right? Yep. Should she have? She should have lost one to the armor too. Or you would roll with that one. I don't remember what she rolled with. She rolled with this, right? Yeah. So really, this we should not lose extra damage on there then. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what yeah. I thought. But I, uh, with math, I always defer that's to it. whomever else is in the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there you have it. Okay. So now it only has a combat value of two. Indeed. But I have to use a whole turn just to walk in there. Or a whole action just to walk in there, right? Yes, sir. Unfortunately. That's really um, so I think I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to raise my resolve by two by resting. Okay, that's a good idea. You're going to breathe. Your turn, babe. Um, so run away, I run away. Yeah, I can't get him, right? So I just shouldn't. Well, you can get him. This one only has a combat value of two, so the you'd have to do four damage to him to kill him. Mm. But yeah. But Which... I have seven to use if I use my item. Yeah, that's true. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. But an item isn't my attack action. Yeah, it not? is. Okay. You're using it your is. item for your attack. Yep. Okay. Yep. So sure, you could I'll shoot at him. I'll do it. Okay, so you got yeah, so seven as long dice. as you get two damage, right? Then you or yeah. You, does, just, uh, you, just have, you won't take any damage as long as you get two successes at least. Does one success come away from the armor first? Okay. There you go. There's two. One, two. So you don't take any damage and you do two damage. Back do to it. One damage. Because of armor. Oh, that's right. So, yep. It only takes a... Yeah, that stays. Um... I do the same thing. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six. I feel like we should have found more stuff at first. Yeah, I think so. Your turn. Oh, I'll go come back. This one wasn't. Boom. Yeah, I know. Uh, and that's it. So three. So. That, I think, will take it out, won't it? No. One from armor, so you're going to do two damage. Yep. So you're just going to kill it. You're going to kill one more bat. One more bat. Dang it. Dang and it. you lose uh, two more. Um, bing, bing. And you lose two more as well. All right. Now, for my last action, because I don't want to run in there, Hmm. For my last action, I'm going to get some resolve. How's that? All right, your last action. Yeah. You running? Mm hmm If you run past us, then they'll have to stop and fight us. So. That is true. Because hmm. they're going to be hitting you. Yeah, right, but there's only one. Toast. You can't. I can't go anywhere you else. You can go in that one room. or two. Yeah. Okay. I mean, technically, three you, if you want. You could go all the way up here. You have a movement of five, or so you could open another room if you yep. want on the second floor. You could. See, there's a door here. Mm-hmm. You want to do that? Explore. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's move that down that way a little bit. And I'll move this we'll, this way. We'll tear it. <laughs> Third level. All right, so one is second. 
you found Leif Erikson's grotto as yeah. well now. Um, so. Is that where the third piece is? Because if that's where the third piece is, okay. we got to run. <laughs> Sorry, so we'll do this. Oh, it is not a and mm -hmm. it's another trigger. So this is the second time the that second we have one. triggered the one. Yep. So where's the... There it is. Okay, so... Wait, but I'm not in here. Yes. You're in the boat. Is that a one? Yes, yeah. it's a one. Did I tell you? My shipping from Seamon is on its way. Ooh. Oh, for Marvel Zombies? It's supposed to be here Monday. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. See, the thing is, uh, the, the one is one that we, it, it doesn't have. A second one? A second one. So I don't think that it triggers another thing because we've already triggered the one over okay. here. So it doesn't trigger the twos and the threes. They all have a, if you do it the first time, then you do this. Second time you do this. But the one doesn't have that. Gotcha. So uh, we don't trigger anything. So you just found Leif Erickson's Grotto and you can uh, search in here uh, to be able to uh, get plus one movement. Hmm. All right. So, so that's going to be artifact. Carry around with you. Yep. Um, okay. Right. So that's everybody. That's everybody. That's everybody. So now we flip over a tomb card. Uh, all adventurer armor does not prevent damage this tomb phase. I don't think we have any. I don't, have any I don't think any of us have armor anyway. So now we move creatures. They move uh, up to two, but they will come here and just chill. So you come up here and you'll move. That dude has one health left. I know, he's like literally like... <clears throat> one last beetle. <laughs> but... I didn't know beetles made that noise. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wings flapping. Okay, so I have 14 health. What do you have? 13. So they're going to attack you. Um, the Actually, I think we'll just have one attack you and one attack me. Right? Um, you know, can you pick or do they attack the weakest hero? I thought that's what he said. Yeah, that's if true. If they attack the weakest, they're going to both attack me. He did say earlier they always go lowest health first. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then after that, if there's a tie, the we choose. So mm -hmm. there isn't a tie. So go ahead. One okay. health left. Time for a snack or a nap. So when they attack, all I got to do is roll a defense roll against them no it, it's just like you're rolling a, a combat against them mm -hmm. but uh so you're basically you want to get for this guy you need to get one or more attacks and this time because the tomb effect doesn't say that we don't do damage against them mm -hmm. you will do damage against them okay so you're rolling basically an attack mm -hmm. against this person to see how much damage you're going to take if any gotcha so it's like the the fight's just continuing it's so it's, do I lose the resolve every time I fight him if he attacks or if I negative. attack? Negative. It's just, when, it's just you attack. when I attack. It's when you attack. Okay. Look at that. That's the most horrible roll in the world. Audacity. Yeah, well. I know. We're getting we low. We don't have any of that left. We're getting low. All right. So now four, fives, and sixes count. Holy macaroni. There's three. So you killed this one. Mm-hmm. So you get um, one courage back, and so do I. Uh, was I on six? Why wouldn't she get one? Oh, yeah, she does. She does. And then how many of these do we get? Um, one. One? Yeah. That is way stronger than the other dude. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a, there's a freaking swarm of them here. There's just three zombies, and now there's like hundreds of scarabs yeah. swarming us. Well, I know, but I mean, uh, compared to the zombies, that dude was way tougher than. No, yeah, I get you, I get you. Should get six. All mm -hmm. right, that was that was you, and that was now it's my turn. Um, and no, I've that got that one has to attack too. I know that's what I'm saying. It's now it's my. Oh, it's He's you're, you're no, still lowest. Still. You're still lowest. Yep, yeah, yep. It's not Go ahead. Change. So now this one is an attack value of six. Yeah. And I gotta reduce that by two. Mm. So it's four. Holy cow, that's one. I don't 
don't know if I want to spend my last audacity on that. Yeah. I guess I could. Why not? Yep. I... You Normally, go. you're a dice rolling fiend, bro. What's up with you today? Live to die another day. That's five. Okay, so you don't take any damage. And you do five damage to it. Yeah. So then that's going to be now, does two. Does his armor come off of that or no? Yes. So one so comes off, damage. so it's four damage, so it's just two swarm tokens. Two swarm. There you go. Okay. All right. That's their attacks. Um, no, that is their attack. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's both of them. So now we spawn uh, two regulars, and we don't have any rooms on level, th but that's only on level one. And we don't have anything here, and nothing on level three, which is down here. We haven't got down there yet. Um, so nothing spawns. This is all on level two. Okay. Uh, so nothing spawns. We don't have the right rooms on, on level one and three yet. So that's why nothing spawns. So now we go to upkeep, which is um, basically just for us. It's flipping over these action tokens, I and you have to roll one die to see if your gun jams or is out of ammo. And Katrina reloaded. She's ready to go. Yep. And Comet Track is one. So that is the second round. You're good. Okay. All right. Next. All right. So I start the next round? Yes, sir. Open up a can, man. I don't think I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Those are these, these guys are tough. You're right. Mm -hmm. I, I think they're a lot worse. I'd rather face three mm -hmm. oh, yeah. keepers of the tomb than two well, we scarabs. We got nine points so from three of them. A card. You have to find them or you use an action to get an item. Like, can mm -hmm. you get You items? have to search specific to locations specific like here. Right. Yeah. Yo, All right. well, Matthew use... Ryan makes board games. Yo, good to see you. I use my first one to attack with two machetes. Okie dokie. Which means that... Seven. Mm -hmm. I mean, that his thing is two against me because I have yeah, because he has four and you're taking two away, so it's uh, only two. That's I right. am. I have no audacity left, and I lose two of these right off the bat. Jeez Louise! One, two, three, four. four. So he's going to take three damage. So that's one and one health, and I don't take anything. Okay, that was my turn. There you go. You're up, baby. Hacking bugs with machetes. I know, right? Okay. What should I be doing? I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Uh, you can explore. You got plenty of movement. You could get past us. We're, we, we still need to file, find the cowl of Anubis before uh, Homeboy shows up over there. So you can explore some more while we do the fighting. Since you're kind of low, or you can rest and get two of your health back. Get two health back. Um, mm -hmm. Not a bad idea. Sure, I'll rest. Okay. That's that. I am going to. Um, I'm just going to open up a can on this guy. Um, so it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You need to lose two more of your resolve. Yeah. Sucks. And now I'm going to lose one on the upkeep. On uh, upkeep. The one thing there, so somebody can do three damage to it. It is toast. all right. It only has one left. Yep. It ha well, it has one, one, one swarm left, and then it has one health left. So, well, it says as soon as the last swarm goes, it's dead. So, yeah, that's true. It doesn't even have. So it only you has gotta, one you, health. You got to do two damage to it. Yeah. All right. Or not. Crap. It's my turn. Forgot to do something. When I she, take... When she did this, we forgot to grab a, a card. Did what? When it doesn't she... have a hat or a No, it, it's, it's always, whenever, it, you always draw an adventure card. You 
always, you always draw an adventure card, and if it's if it's a well, misadventure, we didn't draw one, adventures on that one or that one or that one because we fired off the thing. You're right. I'm overthinking it. Yeah, I think it's just go ahead. Anyways, I missed, so I take one damage. You missed altogether. Yep. Oh wow, that gum. And I lose two of these. How are you not rolling well? It's only seven dice. I know, but you're not rolling well. Your percentage chance on that's pretty damn small. It's statistically um, statistically speaking, you're thirty percent on a dice. Yeah. Well, statistically speaking, again, okay. mathematics. I don't do so, it. Anyways. I guess I'm exploring to try yeah. to find that thing. Uh, sure. Yeah. If you want to. That way. Or, or healing or whatever you like. You yep. Bro, two. Two. So, I think this is going to be another one. Yep. Anytime it's one, two, or three, it's going to be Corsair's one. Cache. So, it's a pirate cache room, and it's a misadventure room, and it is a dead end. So, that can only go right there, just like that. All right. So, now we got to read one of these things. Uh, you see a nest of twigs, sand, and orange stone. Hearing some movement near it, you walk over to investigate. You peer into a hole in the front of the nest. So do a mythos check. Mythos is one. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, How does she need one success? Yep. Bink. Nope. Nope. Uh, oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, strange sensation is fine as... Okay, a strange sensation. Wait, before you can react, you've covered, you're covered in thousands of micro scorpions. Oh they nice. pinch and sting you all over your body. You roll around on the ground, not knowing what to do. You finally swat them off, but you're in a lot of pain. This is not good for you. <laughs> you lose five health. Mm. If you would have gotten the success, you would have possibly only taken four health and been poisoned. But instead, <laughs> you took five health. <laughs> it's all the same, then. That's bad. Stupid pirates, man. Why do they keep scorpions in their in their treasure chests? All right, my turn. Um, you know why. <laughs> that's exactly why. Mm -hmm. You try to take, take their take treasure. treasure. All right, I'm going to try to take care of this swarm of carnivorous scarabs. Um, That's going to do it. That does it right there. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. I don't understand why you're... I'm you rolling so that good. You said last time we played a and dice you're game, too. <laughs> so, but you lose two more things. I do. I'm, like, super close. But get I get I get one back. And then we get Everybody one gets one back because I just killed it again. And uh, we get one more sh soul shard or soul mm -hmm. thingy. Um, soul. Well, I did. Those things are not worth one soul thingy. Yeah, that, they're not, dude. Those are super hard. Wow. Super duper hard. Or we just don't have the right stuff to go after them. But I, I, I really think they're just super hard. piece. <laughs> right? Anyway. As soon as you take All out right. a swarm token, that would be a, uh, a lot better. Yeah. Let right me on. Check. Let me check. That many scorpions would suck. <laughs> Irish Falcon says. Yeah? yeah. I would... I'm I, I, I would, I would like not, not like I would be like done. Be I'm like, out of the tomb. The rest of the world can burn. I don't no. care about the eternal order of Perseus anymore. Nope. I'm out. No. Nope. Oh, you get the thing too. What's that? The scarab. Oh, yeah, the the thing. Okay, so See, this I comes over here. I found you guys here. all the things. Mm -hmm. So in upkeep, I'll get plus two health, and it gives me plus two mythos. Nice. All the time. So my mythos checks are four now. So you're supposed to put this there? Uh huh. You put that there? Yep. That is awesome. That is correct. So we mm -hmm. have plus two. So two, three, four. Uh -huh. All right. I'm just checking swarm effects again because I want to make sure we're not. Because, I mean, that like literally sapped all of my courage. All of ours. All of everyone. So I just want to make sure that we're not. Making a huge mistake. Um, 
You know, it says adventures gain courage and soul shards as normal when no tokens remain. So it's not you get um, you remove one swarm token and heal and all health tokens. Any damage in excess of the health applies to the next swarm token. So yeah, we were doing it right. That's just really, really powerful. Those that's sw those swarm creatures are nasty. They're not the mm -hmm. only ones either. Right. I, I see an undead raptor pack in here. Um, Morgul spirit dragon golems, dwarvish whipsters. Alone. So it's like my goodness. All right. So move, anyway. me, move me forward two. Okay. Which way? Straight this ahead. way. Yep. One, two. Yep. Okay. And we are on level two here. So this one comes up. It is a ceiling spike trap. So you, this, this is the one that he was talking about earlier that mm -hmm. only triggers once. Yep. I'm and, very, not very dexterous. So this and is. it's knowledge, though. It's not dexterity. Oh. I have no knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> my knowledge is worse than my dexterity. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, no. So it's a knowledge check. You only have to get one success, though. Perfect. Nope, you take five health. Ceiling spike trap falls on you. But right. we don't have to worry about that triggering anymore. And then do I need to do a... Yes. You okay over there? Misadventure, you want to read it? Sure. Go ahead. <clears throat> What's going on over here? Maybe itchy? Uh, you find a giant set of chains broken by something. <laughs> they are covered in cryptic ruins of entrapment. Whatever was held here must have escaped. <laughs> I need to do another knowledge check. Oh, no. Come on. Nope. All right, so read the bottom. The chains clank and jingle as you look for clues to your mission, or perhaps to what, the chain, to what was chained up here. Soon after, you hear the echoing of an oncoming creature ready to quench its hunger add a something of a golem class try to get the big dog uh golem class one of these guys oh. all right so uh do we have to like just search until we get it oh you get a golem one yeah yeah golem horror horror flying mythical what was the first one golem? he said golem no, it's a gargoyle. Oh, you said gargoyle. Gargo I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw, I saw a G. Gollum. Right, there he is. <laughs> the beast the beast of the Orient, it says, a very grumpy cat. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. That's super nasty. Three, seven strength, three shields, ten health. <laughs> I say we just let let him be. Doesn't he just gonna come around and chase us, right, and attack us? How far is it? What's his three. movement? Three. Oh, dude. There ain't no letting him be. <laughs> oh. All, All right. right. Well, that was my turn. Dag gum, dude. All right, you're up. I need to get health out of that. There you go. <laughs> Two health. Um. Yep. Go ahead. So you're just chilling. Like a villain. Yeah. Covered in scorpions. Yeah. Well, it was the stinging of the scorpions that stunned mm. me. So now I'm like, I'm going to sit here for a bit. Yeah. I just got stung by thousands of scorpions. Okay. Well, here's my here's my recover. problem. Um, if I attack, him. Yeah, if I attack him, you flee. I would I would be out. I'm fleeing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just try to not have to lose any more uh, things. So I'm going to just chill and resolve. Get, gain more bearing, William. You're up. He's not undead, right? He is not undead. He's just a golem. Gotcha. But, I mean, you are getting... Oh, wait, yeah, that's a mythos yeah, thing. So you're... Oh, no, I mean, you're rolling eight dice if you use the Staff of Raw. You just can't... You're not using it against... What the, kind of a thing was that? That was a misfortune? What's that? Yeah. That was a trap. Misfortune card. So 
Does that mean I would have got plus one? Yes. One, so, yeah, roll your die again. Roll. It would have, on misfortune checks, yes. You would have gotten plus one die. An extra dice? Yes, sir. So, I don't know if it matters. I would actually well, get one for each. Do it. That so matters. That would have been a success. Um, it wouldn't have come out. Well, See, is this the card that you read? Probably. This adventure. No, this is the this is the one that. Um, oh, here Where's it is. The golem one. Go? Here it is. Here it is. Okay. So okay. Get him off the board. <laughs> well, that's fine. I don't. No, 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 no. That 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 dude is nasty. So we will get him off the board. Okay. So what happened here is, uh, you redu you deduce that it was a golem of hell. <laughs> It was, mm -hmm. um, who was captured here. As punishment for its crimes against humanity, the golem was tasked with standing guard over this part of the tomb. Hopefully it's not nearby. Uh, minus one courage. So you just got the heebie-jeebies. Well, I guess he I'd rather he get the heebie-jeebies than fighting. So. Right, yeah, exactly. All so right. Good, well. good catch, good catch. So for my last action, I'm just going to heal two. All right. Um, let's see here. I am going it's not your to. Turn. Me. Yep, that's true. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me on board. What I you doing, babe? Five I don't know. I'm shooting here. That's all I'm doing. Um. Mm. Wouldn't hurt you know. to heal again. Maybe. Sure. Uh, or you can move. What? Nothing. I'm shedding too. Mm. How's that possible? I can have hair. I got hair, man. <laughs> it just comes out of the bottom of my head, not the top. Okay, so I'm just healing. You're just healing some more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we all we all got kind of wrecked. This, the didn't we? Yeah. Really messed up. <clears throat> I need um, to figure out where we're searching for stuff because we need stuff. We need yeah, well, need... we have the two we have two of the three things that we need to battle well, him. We need other stuff. Yeah, that's true too. Seems like. Yeah. Search well, I mean, we can go here and, and search search for items and, and that kind of stuff. But that's not and searching for items. That's just searching for that, right? You have yeah. To have that's like that. a super item. That's basically what I that know, is. But you have to have resolve for that, right? Truth. So what we could do is we could, like, spend some resolve to get plus one audacity. That's one of the things. I mean, not resolve, but uh, um, gain one audacity is five five bucks, basically, with our souls. So a couple of us could do that. I still have a good a good a bit of a good a bit of it, so I don't need it. <clears throat> but it's up to you guys. Um, uh, I think what I'm going to do is um, one, two, three. Let's see. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm minus two on story checks right now, so. I'm gonna even if I get over here, I'm still gonna be minus two on story checks. So I think I'll go one, two, and three from over there, and it's a level two, so not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. This one is Davy Jones Locker. Yay, Bob! I have another <laughs> pirate thing over here. They've sucked what up all kinds of things. So. Um, Wow. Okay. So this is just going to go here like this. And nothing really happens. I can get plus one from the... I don't know what that means. That may have been changed. Um, because that, that's a soul shard icon. So hmm. maybe it's plus one from the... That doesn't make sense. So we're going to not worry about that. But I do have to get a misadventure. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, you find a huge abacus puzzle. Mm. And you think you can crack the code. As you move the abacus stones around, a mass of pinhole lights suddenly form an hourglass on the wall. Counting down. Counting down for what? <laughs> so I have, to <laughs> I have to do a... Uh, knowledge check and get two uh, successes. So this is not possible. This is possibly not good. 
Don't read ahead. It'll stress uh, you out. I'm not going to, but I'm just. I You're reading ahead. No, I'm. I have my thumb over it. Two successes. Come on, two successes. That's two fails. Cocked, but yeah, two fails. <laughs> Um, all right, with time stopped, you have no idea what's going to happen. The hourglass on the wall is still moving. The sand flows down. You try hard as you can to solve the abacus. So now I have to take another test to see if I pass or fail this one. Two ones. <laughs> time starts again. Oh, okay, the abacus opens. If I would have passed that second one, mm -hmm. then I would have gotten an item but time starts again nothing really happens okay so there right. it goes that's not bad well it's possibly good but possibly i mean possibly bad but or possibly nothing all right that's the end at of the end of the turn. day it's the end of the turn right so now we get another tomb card here a tomb effect it's yours for the taking all uh we take a um uh, a audacity check, and if we pass, we get plus one to any attribute. So uh, we only have to get one success. What is the... I got one success, so I can get plus one to any attribute. Um, I think I'll take plus one. I think I'll take plus one dexterity since I use that so much. Okay, is that for everybody? Yep, it says everybody. So what is, which one, how many do I have? Three. Yeah, your audacity. Is that audacity oh, check? Yeah. So you have three dice. So that's a pass there too? Yep, you get plus one, and then you roll three as well. And you got a pass, so you can get plus one on any one of these here. Uh, move creatures, there are no creatures. Creature combat, there is no creature combat. So level two, we have one um two three four yeah i know but we only have one person coming out so we'll have him come out right here you get a pick where he goes yeah so a, a quest anaconda comes out and level three we don't have any so a quest anaconda comes out and he is uh one courage attack Two combat, one armor, five health, three sharp, three souls. Okay. Um, upkeep, so I get two health on my upkeep. Is that in... No, that's story. That's yeah, story checks. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. No, I'm not in that anymore. So everything else, uh, you have to roll your one die. Don't get a one. You're good. And. That's that. Combat track plus zero on this one. I don't think that's true. That's another misprint because these mm. are supposed to move it plus one gotcha. each time because it's a timing mechanism. So Okay. But, I mean, I can see what they're doing because this is a green one, so it's a, yeah, it's a it's good a one. Good one. It doesn't move. It gives you more time, but we'll just keep it going. All right. Flip over all of our reloads, and you're first you're again. you to go first. Go, 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 go. Mm, 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 mm. So we need to explore and get cards. Is that what we need to do? Yes. We need to explore and get stuff. We're trying okay. to build up so that we can face this guy and beat him when he comes so up. So can we search for something there, or is really? that just a... Yeah. Um, what does targeted do? Targeted. Um, it's on the other side. Targeted. Um, you always count as having the most uh, health, health when. So if you're in the same calculating room as targets for creatures. Oh. It just makes you. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Target you. The most souls. This is these are the old cards. Mm -hmm. So in the old ways, an, another way was to if it was tied for health, and how many of you have uh, how many soul shards do you have? Oh, and then um, so gotcha. this one would say, and we don't so have the new cards that doesn't, really help us doesn't really help us now. So All right, we need to. I can't search here. This one I can search. Just yep, for you movement. Can, you, you, but I have yeah, to move you, you get plus one movement. Um, here you can search to get Excalibur. 
Um, but, but here you can search but for Zeus's it's bolt. it's two motions. It's one action correct. to move there and yes. one to yep. Correct, correct. Or is it better to try to get another card so we can get that? Because I have five movement. Yeah. So I could go one, two, three, four, you know. Well, like, you don't necessarily no, want to go here. I can't here. go that way, but go I can go. this way. You can go yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Right, and then go we there. can. You want to do that? Or yeah. you could go here. Yeah, or you could go straight across over here. Okay, just straight, straight across. across. Okay, so one, two, three, and that's level two, which is this one. Uh, Tomb of the Crusades, so you can look for the Holy Grail, basically. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is a trigger for the one, so it doesn't really do anything right. else, and this is just a straight shot this way as well. So, so if that I was your just, action? Yeah, that yep. was my action. That doesn't so if do I would anything. just search next time, I could get something. Mm. Plus one melee. No, yeah, no. you get plus one strength. Okay. Right. Yep. Tar, 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 tar. Uh, that was your turn. So my turn, I'm going to... Where am I? I'm way over there. Um, How do we get to the third level? We don't... we well, got to find the way to get yeah, to it. Yeah, there, there's, there's, there's going to be uh. one of those tiles that... That has the trigger effect that says, boom, you've right, right. fallen down a whatever, and now you're in the third level. Place yourself over here is basically how it goes. Um, I think I'm going to go... Was I here? Yeah, uh -huh. I was here. Um, I'm going to go one, two. So we're going to shift this all over to make more room. And that comes over here like that. And we're on level two, you know, so it's this. And the Grand High Masonic Lodge goes in here like so. No, that won't go anymore. You're going to have to. There we go. Got it. There you go, Luke. Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> this is a bit of a table hog, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But. There we go. All right, so I'm here, the Grand Masonic Lodge, but that does have a uh, uh, trigger on it. And this is the second time that we've done a two, right? Yes. Third. Third? Third. No, we have one, one. Two, two. Two, two. 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 And two. two. Okay. okay, so third time that we've done uh, two, and that is... You find yourself deep within the tomb in a place filled with strange energy. It's like spirits from beyond are calling from their places among the dead. Two huge intimidating sphinx statues oh, flank great. an even darker statue of Anubis, the god of death. Forever watching the, over the golden sarcophagi here. You quickly translate the runes on the wall. The crown of the great Anubis, keeper of the dead, lies forever entombed within his coffin. Finally, you found the last potent talisman needed to help defeat Raz Azul, Azul Ahmed. Right as you begin to disturb the gravesite, the two Sphinx statues come to life and defend the grave. Mm -hmm. Of course they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, these aren't these aren't chumps. Place two Sphinx elite creatures in this room. Once both are defeated, the adventurer, any adventurer in this room can spend an action to try to open the sarcophagus of Anubis, which is a uh, mythos check. So we place a quest marker on this room. What's the quest marker? Once this room contains three quest markers, the sarcophagus of Anubis opens. Any adventurer on this room can then take the cowl of Anubis. So we have to defeat the creatures and search for the, uh, basically try to open their sarcophagus three times. Um, and then we get the... And then we get the cowl of Anubis. All right. So we all have to go uh, there. Those guys are crap. Attack, all right, attack, attack. so the sphinxes are there. I've got a bad feeling about this Irish falcon yeah, sense. Well, <laughs> they have shield of three. Did you miss anything else? No, I don't think and so. And five attack. <laughs> Isu says. <laughs> There's no way to get free. Did I hear that right? Micro scorpions? That many scorpions would suck. Mm -hmm. They also kill you. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Should I just come over there to help? Um, I, I mean, I don't think we have a chance against them. 
Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, right. I mean, that's the thing. You're the only one that has. Well, no here's the thing. There's no, there's no um, <clears throat> player elimination until he shows up. After he shows up, if we zero? die, what happens if you have no health? If you have no health, uh, you are basically dead. But you can grab another character and you come in at the start of the thing, and so it's like mm -hmm. reinforcements show up. So there's no player elimination. This guy just stands here unless. Unless he has shown up, and after he has shown up, then if you die, up. then you're then you're uh, out of the game. Yeah. I'm gonna take these dudes out. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So I need some help, though. I'm coming with help. I need well, you to come over here. She and... does three damage on attack, but that won't even get past their armor, right? No, I think that's. Uh, what does it say? What is it? it just says deal three damage to a creature up three spaces away. That's I don't cool. think it gets. I, I I don't think that takes its armor into effect. I think she is like damage. supernaturally damaging. Okay. All right, then move me three spaces towards you. So move me to that center. Move those three. Yeah, that's my turn. Don't forget about this guy though. Yeah. Um, Only so much we can do. Well, that's true. Your turn, baby. Okay. Well, I need to come closer to help battle, too. So. Okay, but one. you can get all the way I in there if you want. There. One, one two, two, three. Yep. Yikes. And I'm already in there, so... I am just going to... Uh... I don't know. I don't... I don't, I don't understand. Oh, crap. It's something about combat, but it's like, if I'm starting a combat, if I'm in the mm -hmm. combat, I don't understand quite. What does it do? Oh, well... Oh, no, no, no. That's just like a free attack. Mm -hmm. It also gives you a shield. Yep. So you, you could have got rid of... You could have not taken a whole bunch of damage. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm an idiot. What? We can ascribe hits to our allies. We can do what? We can ascribe can hits to our allies. We can use our 10. allies as meat shields. Oh, nice. Because mm. they're basically with us in the in the fight, helping us, and we can attribute hits to them. That's why they have health there at the mm. bottom. I'm an idiot. It's I keep right. forgetting we, these we things. We will get this, but we still can beat them. Yep, here we go. All right, I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, because I'm going to shoot one of these well, things. Thing absorbs or ignores armor, so. Yeah, it does. So I can use that. Yes. And then next turn. So basically, turn. if you roll that, you roll five dice, and on fives and sixes, they hit, and they go straight through their armor. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And, of course, I start rolling bad now. One, two, three, four. four. So that's it. Um, don't have anything else to really do special so that's just um two-handed uh yes okay so uh i do four damage to it but i have to take <laughs> one two three uh courage and um one damage five i take one damage yes and it takes one damage wow you did one damage with that. Oh, attack. wait, were any of those sixes? Huh? Were any of these sixes? No, one. one. One was a six, so it takes two. Why? Because was, the sixes go it, all the way through. It would still ignore your three fives, then. Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. So sixes aren't affected. If it's just sixes, they're not affected by armor, is what you're saying? They are. That's correct. They're not affected by armor. Gotcha. All right, well, then I will use her to do three damage. <clears throat> That'll be my second action. Okay. You're up. So it was best to use this or to use my seven dice? Yes, use to use this? that. Yeah, because yeah, it's going to ignore damage. It's going to ignore their armor, so you just roll five dice, but any successes you get are going to translate directly to hits. Mm -hmm. She didn't get any. None. Mm, use uh, Audacity and reroll. I think. Two. Two. Two more hits. Okay, so that takes that one out. Takes this one out. Okay, so we take uh, 
we each get two courage back, and we get three souls. But you would have lost three courage to do that, so then you'd get two back. And then three souls. souls. Three souls. Yep, three souls. Yep. That's pretty good. All right. And that was the third action because I was the stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then I'll do. I'll do another one. I'm going to do something. One, two, three, four, five. Exactly what that means. I'll get back to it in just a minute. But five combat, so I take damage. one damage, and then it's going to do. It takes three, because okay. these go through damage. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Through armor. All right. What does flee mean? Yep. Let's look it up. Bow, 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 bow. Okay. Not that. One good thing about this rule book is that it does have a uh, index. So I can EF fleeing the tomb. There we go, page eight. Oops. So I am out, I think, page mm -hmm. eight. Fleeing the tomb. When the courage track reaches the space title, flee tomb. If another game effect prompts you to flee the tomb, Discard all of your companion cards, place an item drop token on your current room, and set aside all your artifacts cards. Then move your adventure standee one room toward the tomb's entrance. You are now fleeing. While fleeing, you must spend every action token to move at movement plus one towards the tomb entrance. If a fleeing adventurer moves into a room with any creature, that adventurer takes damage equal to half the creature's combat rating. Rounded down, a fleeing adventurer cannot evade. If you are in the tomb's entrance, move again. You have fled the tomb. Remove your adventure from the game as if he had died. He or she had died. So, a an effect of a card, probably one of these, will have to tell you to flee. Really? Yeah. Huh. So, so, there's a possibility for me to gain courage to get back off of that by resting or other kinds of things. But if I'm in this and, uh, and a game effect tells me to flee, then I have to book it. Hmm. Okay. All righty. My turn? Yep. I got nothing to do. I'm going to come join the party. Up here? Yep. Okay. It's your turn, boss. Oh, dear. Okay. So I can use this in my combat for seven. I wonder. I'm using an item. I'm using my crystal. Mm -hmm. I didn't get anything. I got one. You got two. two. Or if another effect prompts you. Okay, so I read it wrong. So what I do here is I discard this guy. I'm sorry. Let me go back and do this real quick. You can no, keep... No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Um, this guy comes down here, so he st sticks around. Put a uh, item drop token. Just put like uh, one of the uh, EOP markers up here. These uh, ones? One of the yeah, one of the stone looking ones. Just put that there. Uh, on your current room, set aside all of your item and artifact cards. So all of this comes out. So I drop them here. And nice. you're, it, while fleeing, you must spend every action token to move at mm, maximum plus one. Maximum, maximum. Plus one. Yeah. yeah. So well, it's uh, not your turn yet. So. It's not my turn. So on my turn, I'm just going to basically go here. No. And then I'm going to go here. No, you're going to go your movement plus one. So you're going to go four. Yes, you're correct. Yes. Kay. Move at movement plus one toward. Yes. Yeah. You're correct. All right. So you did two damage. 
-hmm. And it went through the armor. So he's at five. And then he would you would take three damage and lose three of those. All right. Now it's your turn. And so I go movement three, four. So I'm going to go one, two. That's me. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yep, yep, yep. Three, four. Yep. Okay. Nice. All right, my last turn. That's that's my last turn, yeah. I'm going to try to hit him with the machete. I'm not sure that's going to work out. His strength is a... His strength is a three against me because I'm using the machetes. So. Right. Oh, I get one more now because I did raise that up. I need sixes. So I got four hits, but only one's a six, so only one damage. So one, two. That does it, though, right? Two, three, four, five. five. And then oh, I thought he only had one four. more. Six. So that's wow, out. that didn't do it. That's out. So here's so the I thing. Lose three. Three. So we all get two back. Two back. So boom, boom. The, so I'm not fleeing anymore. Gotcha. Bottom. Okay. And then we get three more of these. Yes. We're going to have to figure out what to spend those on. Yes. All right. So that was my last action. So you have one action left. So what's the search thing do? If we're searching for the... Right. Can we... Search in that room that I'm this in thing? Or? Yeah. Remember, we have to search and we have unlock to search the tomb. Or something to get oh, oh, to the tomb. oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the Cal of Anubis. So you have to do a mythos check. I have two. Um, and you have to get a just one. But remember, didn't you have something that gives you? Not mythos. No. Uh, not mythos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just traps. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. So you have to get if you get one success. I did not. Okay. Not Nothing happens. So. Okay. All right. Well, that was our sure. turn. <laughs> so, monsters' turn or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I used my last one. Yeah. For that flea, right? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, here we go. Tomb effect. First player. Who was the first player? Her. She's the first player. She was, was. So she gets plus one knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. Um, move creatures. So this guy's going to move two. One, two. And creature combat. No creature combat. Level two. Uh, we do one bad guy. No, not from the bottom. Oh, poisonous spider. This one to go on. I brought out the, the scorpions, the scarabs, and the spiders, so you know. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Indeed. If you are damaged by this creature, you gain poisoned. I gain poison? Um, no, you don't. Oh, if uh, you are damaged. Upkeep, search, uh, we don't do search, and then common track plus one. Upkeep, so I have to one. roll one die. Yep, you do. I don't have anything to upkeep. So. <laughs> <laughs> And then these come back to being our allies yep. again. Yep. Um, I don't think that one ever undoes. It doesn't have oh. an upkeep. Yeah, it doesn't. No, this oh, isn't. Okay. Yeah, it's not a one one use. Mine's a one time use per round. But, but if I'm attacked by something, I can have it take it on That's this, correct. and then. Well, actually, yeah, you can have it take uh, any of your damage, and uh, it has plus one shield, so it minuses right. one damage, and then you can put health tokens on this. And as long as it doesn't go belong below ten, or or up, yeah. you, you know, if if you don't take all those hit points, then you still have it. All right. Um, so then we refresh all of our action thingies. Um, so I'm first person now. Yep. I'm first player. So I guess I will try to go get my stuff again. But there's stupid anacondas in my way. Um, I'll go fight him. <laughs> How did all this for the armory? Oh, I see. Okay, so I'll go. Oh, the two. The uh, I got you. I got you. Okay, so I was here. So one, two. Um, 
I don't think I should just go in there fisticuffs with a stupid snake. Like I said, I'm gonna go fight. I'll go fight him. So yeah, you know, he'll, you might as well go in there. He's I'll not just gonna attack you till his turn. That's true. Go ahead. You don't have to worry about leaving, right? Nope, nope. Well, All right. not now. Just put me in there now. Yep, that's my action. Oh, man, being melee, not having a ranged weapon, that that hurts. Yes, it does. While I'm in there, I should search because we have to look for that thing and find it three times. That's true. So I only have to, I have two though, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna about to come in there with four. So if you can get one, that would be good. You got, got it. One. So put a quest token in there. I got um, two technically, but you know. That's a trap token, but okay. Huh? <laughs> take one that's of those. Trap? Take one of those green. I thought that was a trap. Yeah, that's a trap. What does that say? I'm pretty sure that's yeah, that's that's good enough. Yeah. Sure. I just saw a triangle. I, I didn't see what Got it was. Okay, so that was my move. That's one. Okay, so my second action is how many? We have to many, find this. Three how times? many of those cards have we gone through? What's that? Are we on round four? Yes, we are. Awesome. Yep. One, two, three, four. Got it. And we have to find that three times. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go one. That's my action. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna attack that snake. Yep, yep. Go for it. What's his stuff with the machete? Yes, he's gonna cut two his machetes. Yep. So you take one courage, and then his combat value is two. He has an armor of one and five health. He's very beefy. Yeah, he's a big snake. One, two, three, four. I'll draw sixes. Dang! Okay. Holy Moses. So. Four damage. Yeah, it's four damage. Dag gum. Good job. All right. That was my turn. We'll put that right there. All right, babe. Try again. Okay. You got to get it. And yep. Then, and then after we get it, you have to interact with it one more time. Um, do we have to do it three times or two three times? Three times. Uh, once this room contains three quest markers, the sarcophagus opens, and any any person in there can then take the cowl. Does, does picking something up off the ground take an action? Or, no, or you just pick time. them up? Yeah, pick Use up items or artifacts. Pick, up, pick items. up items, yes. So um, my third action is going to be to, to roll one, two, three, four. Oops. And that's a success. So okay. that's the third. So, yep. so that means now somebody can pick up now the thing. Now she can use her next action and pick up the cowl. All right. Two, four, six, eight. I'm going to attack well, that snake again. But you can use your action to pick up two of those pieces, right? Yep. Okay. Um, one, two. He only needs one damage, right, to finish him? That is correct. All right. So he's dead. One. Cool. So we get one courage back. Everybody. Oh, I gotta, I gotta spend two. Don't, don't, don't worry about it because you. I remain spending. I'm spending one. Yeah, you only lose okay. one and you get back one. So everybody gets back one, and then um, we get three more. Uh, soul. And then it says on top of there, you get an item too. Is there other creatures that we should have got? When items killed, put no. Uh, uh because it'll say. Uh, we get an item. You kill three them, more. so you get a jug of rum. Mm. Sweet. Go in the pirate room. You get, I'm gonna go hide you get in the more courage. I'm say, <laughs> go in the pirate rooms with that. I'm pretty sure Davy Jones locker and something. If you have a tub of rum, I'm gonna. Take shit. Oh no. I got four swigs on my jug of rum. I'm gonna be courageous. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here for a whole right, round. Your turn whole next. Day. So I'm Drink gonna it. do an item. You pick up the. Pick up the cowl of Anubis. There you go. What do you get for that? Plus okay. one defense. Yep. Plus one defense. And when you take damage, reduce that damage by one to a minimum of one. Irish Falcon says Based liquid courage for JT. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys later. I got my battle axe and my rum. Yeah, going, that, oh, dear Pete. That's a bad combo. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, um, now we have the three things. Oh, my right, last sure. action is going to be pick to pick up my stuff. Now we got to wait. Two rounds for him to pop up. 
Yeah. I'll hopefully find something else while we're uh, at it. I'm going to go kill them spiders, I think. No, I'm not going to do that because <laughs> I'm, I don't have any rum like All that. Right. All right. right. My last action, I am going to... I don't know. I should look at something. I'm just going to oh. get some health back. Two health. <clears throat> I'm not drinking my rum just yet. I kind of agree. I think my last action, I'll just get... Yeah, just rest boof up. And get boof. two more. Yeah, up to six. <laughs> I know. Whew. All right, that's my. That's it. So now we go through another tomb phase. So tomb effect: a glowing aura surrounds you. All of us have a mythic, and if we pass, we get plus one temporary action next round. So we would have five actions um, next round instead of just four. We do a what? We do uh, a mythos, mythos check, and right? you pass. And you do it on your yeah. level, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you have two, though. I passed. I two. Okay. Uh, I'll get still one of these. Yeah, that's good. I passed. I got one. I did not. Okay. So what is this? <coughs> oh, we get an extra, extra action. action. Got we'll it. Just move creatures. So this one's going to go one, two, like that. And then creature combat. There isn't any. Uh, spawn creatures, level two. We get another small dude. I don't know, the, the scarabs were small dudes and they kicked our butts. <laughs> those were well, not, those were specific. Those were not small dudes. <laughs> those, those were not, specific those were really for, for this thing. So we have a revolutionary poltergeist. Oh, dear. Uh, it fights a, for a war long since lost. Now everyone is its enemy. Uh, so this one has a two courage attack, three combat, no armor, five health. And I guess we'll put it over here. So, um, upkeep. No, mm, no. Upkeep, I have one. So I'm going to do this and boom. Upkeep, do you have to do something here? Uh, yes. Well, first of all, I get two health. You had a three. So. And then uh, I get minus one of this. Uh, what's happening here? Oh, we, we need to flip over. Yeah. Yep. You need to flip over, and JT, you're the first person this turn. You guys have five actions. Oh, I only yeah. have four. I'm going to spend this one to... I'm just going to explore here. Well, um, how are you doing on health and all that? I got 11 health. Yeah. Um, explore there? Yep. Okay, what is it, level two? Two. Oh, that's this one. Uh, sets Corridor of Chaos. Isn't that... Oh, sounds fun. Interesting. Uh, so uh, you can search here to discard all of your items and draw that many items back. Mm, no. So <laughs> if you like that, you, you can try to do that. But we do get a misadventure. <clears throat> you find a stone circle with red, yellow, blue, and green gems arranged. Leave the gems alone. I I've been picking up red ones the whole time. Arranged in a circular pattern. As you approach and investigate, they light up and you hear a tone from an unknown source. You gotta play Simon, so Simon says. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do knowledge and get two. <laughs> you need. <laughs> All right, I get two extra from my machetes. Okay. You do? For yeah, that's true. That's right. So checks. you get three three dice all together, you gotta get two successes. All right. You did it! There. You quickly deduce that this is an ancient memory game. <laughs> it's right! <laughs> You're playing Simon. Simon. Uh, the lights and tones continue in strange patterns, adding more lights and tones. Though it's very complex, you keep your concentration and complete the game. You feel pretty Oof. smart. I wow. You get plus one knowledge. Nice. Jeez, it's about time. <laughs> When they said it was red and blue like, and green, I get Simon. In the other room. That's do, amazing. Do, 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 do. And those two are in the other room. I'm like, stay away. Go the other way. Stay away. I'm, I'm busy. I'm concentrating on Simon here. Oh, that's amazing. You're about to get 100 points. That's boys. super funny. Okay. All right. That was uh, your first session. Yep. Oh, His first session. Go ahead. Um. <clears throat> I don't know what I should do. Well, we need to find level three. If we don't find level three, he says that he gets to jump right from there to there. And then from there to there. But here's the thing. He can't move through us. Right, he's so got to stop. And once he kills one of us, 
then it doesn't matter and he's out the door. So we need to block his path right. so that he can't move out and, and right away. Well, he comes out of the start of level six, right? Yeah, when we when we when we go click like that, he's gonna go uh, smackaroony right here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Or the furthest away from this, but we haven't found any level. We haven't right. found a path down to level three yet. So I can either heal of my health or I can move into that square. What but, square? Like I can move into that. Yep. No, well, you got a whole turn. I mean, yeah, I have we should be system. trying to find out where that connects to, so he has to come up the normal way instead okay. of going straight through. Well, if I'm not mistaken, he moves directly from here to here. No matter what? Well, here's the thing. That's what I'm saying. If we, ha if we get down to level three, uh -huh. and then we explore some right, stuff right. out there, he'll show up the farthest away from this room. Yeah. But then he still he will still go boom and he moves boom like five. and well, he's then not going to take the normal path out. No. no. Huh. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I mean, if if like we we come and we explore, explore, explore. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about that. But if we went here when we found the way down to there, negative. He can move he directly come... from here to okay. here and there okay. to there. So, but what... if we get down here, he has to move one, two, three, four, and right. then he can go sure. here. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, so what is the best option to well, try to get to three? To, to try to find an to find a vinyl way down there. Okay, yes. Okay. Well, then I go here. Okay. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> that's level two. Not this one. Not this one. Level two. Illuminati Gallery. Oh, I do love the game Illuminati. <laughs> Isn't that the name? Uh, Close. No. Illiterati. Illiterati. I messed that one up. Illiterati. Close. So we can we can search here to get plus one mythos. Mm. Um, but again, that's a uh, that's a number that's one. Number one, and it doesn't do anything. And it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it's just the twos or threes that if we find them. Does that mean that's a door too? Negative. No. That's a fancy no, wall. This is a another. Wall. It only comes out okay. this way. All right. Mm. So that was, so that was your that no. Was mine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I got rid of it. That. Oh, so that was the round action. Yep. So you're uh, next to I'm four. I'm going okay. to rest and get plus two courage. Okay. I'm going to, and I'm just going to chill. I think for a while and just continue to get courage. Speed on that guy. Speed on that guy's only one. Speed yeah. on that guy's two. Yep. So five, one, spider's going to go three, here. Four. Uh, revolutionary five. dude's going to go here. And he's not going to move his first round. No, he just shows up. He shows up at the beginning of the sixth round, and I'm then we go can back. go fight him. Uh, all right, Check that's here. all you. So your uh -huh. turn now. Continue to search or explore, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want to come this way? Yeah. All right. Boom. So we got to go level two. That's this one. And you found the dead end, so the antechamber of Anubis. Nice. So... You know Boom. who's in there? Zeus. Yes. And that's a exactly. three. Exactly, Zeus bolt. Or a... Zeus the second is time house. we find a three... Did we find a three? I don't think we've found a three. We found a three or the first time? I don't think we've ever seen a three. Um, I think this is our first three. Well, here's the thing. I don't think there's anything else for us to read until he comes. So nothing happens there. I think what we should be doing, though, is when that happens, that's we should be pulling one of these cards. When what happens? One of those? Yeah, I think that's what we should have been doing. But mm. um, it provides more story. It provides more. Oh, gotcha. Right, right. You know. So, let's do that. Sure. And it's not a misadventure room, so no. we'll just read adventure. I don't want to add more bad stuff to it, because no, the no. game's already kicking our butts. Looking around, you discover an ancient stone carving on the wall that seems to be the story of Wendigo. You pull the fur free from the carving, letting loose some ancient debris. Why would you pull fur <laughs> free from the, the carving on the wall? I Why would you pull fur too. from it? Don't pull fur. Um, so, Mythos. Mm -hmm. So, you two. have two. Yep, you have two. And you have to get one success. Yes. Okay. Yep. You bend down and find an old scrap of paper under a rock. You decipher the long-forgotten words written in blood. Yes. When you read it aloud, you feel a sensation of vitality and health. Oh. Gain one strength. Strength is health? Oh, one strength. Yeah. Mm. I haven't had to use that. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, you don't have the right weapons, and we're not getting a whole lot of items. Items either. Um, so okay. that's that. That was my. Go ahead, JT. I'm just getting two more courage. I gotta collect my thoughts over here, buddy. <laughs> Go for it. Wait, wasn't that my turn? I'm Why confused. would I? It was so I I did. I I'm the first thing? person. Oh, Why would I drink person. a jug for two? Oh, it's plus two. Does that mean if I rested, does it, does that mean I get four instead of two? I believe so. Because I it's think you can you can uh, you can rest and uh, use, an use that, that item sense. and gain plus two. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for that. And get one mythos. I'll get a mythos. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Back to you, babe. Uh, this is a dead end. So mm -hmm. if you want to search, if you want to explore more, you'd have to come back over here and go here. Mm -hmm. Or up or here. Up or over there, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Which way? Um, there. Okay. I can't so reach. we got one, two, three, four. Right. Yep. And that is a level two as well. So it's not this one. Um,. I don't have more like Shuffle it either, up. Shuffle. This is my discard uh -huh. file. I yep. probably should have just been put him on the bottom of the stack. That would yeah. have been that would make more sense. But I'll do this. So boom, boom, boom. We're Pretty soon we're gonna like be out, out of number of twos. twos. I think we actually are. We might are you be. Sure, that wasn't the way into down there. No, because we have a three. Like it, it doesn't say, bro. All right. We don't now, have any more twos. twos. So let me check. Let me check. Because I actually asked this question to Chris the other day. And he checking? said that there was a there was a room that, that we went through all makes the... you go through all of those things. That makes you say, uh, it says there's an effect somewhere. So. What are you looking for? Maybe. I'm looking through all of the different uh, adventure tiles, adventure oh. thingies. The only reason I say that is because it's a three. It's a surprise that there's not a three yeah. in there that ties that together. I guess that would make sense, but... Um, but it only had ones it, and twos in the scenario? Because if that's yeah. the case, then she'd be moving there instead. No, I get you. I get you. Um, let me check. I want to check. I want to do it. Yeah, we're doing okay. I mean, this is a, basically it's a two-hour game. So we are Within two hour hours and, well, we're two hours and 40 minutes into it right now. Here. But, I mean, part of that time is, you know, what I'm doing now yeah, and I know, I know. that kind of stuff. So uh, where is it? Not here. This one I haven't found any use for, but I think. No, it means, yeah. See, so. But I think it means I could go from here up to yeah. a level one. Right. So if when he's moving, I could move by myself from here up to you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically what it does is you set two ends of a rope so we right. can have a new pathway. Mm. But we have to figure out how to get down there. Well, yeah, no, I just meant when he comes out, I could go from the first level to add a block. Right? Oh, to come out, to get in his way. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't see anything in the actual scenario about it. Um, furthest from Mongols Hall. Cards either. Three, two. Well, I didn't really spend a whole lot of time searching through all of the cards. So, yeah, but the cards aren't scenario specific. Are no, they saying? aren't. But that that when I, when I asked him about that question, he did say that there is a card that allows us to that that puts us down into that. Oh, well, don't worry about it. Okay. Thing, um, but again, I don't. Um, I don't. I mean, that would make sense, man. We make we we reach the thing of Anubis and. We uh, we would go into that thing, but again, I don't see any of these cards. There's a lot of cards here for that to be 
yeah, the I, one thing no, I said, those aren't that triggers specific either. So right. there's no there's nothing there that's gonna say. But in it, this one no. scenario, you can go down there. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, because there's always going to be a level three. It's not just specific for this scenario. There's always going to be three levels to the to the to the tomb. It's not just this scenario. There's always gotcha. that, and then there's this, and then there's this is the third level. That's your setup for any scenario. Um, so how we get down there, I I I am at a loss, honestly, because I don't think oh. Um, let's, <laughs> don't, don't do that. No. You can't pull it out there. No. You just, you, you just did it. Yeah, so no. it's literally the next card that was down there. Yeah, but you got a 60 card stack there, 80 No, but I'm, I'm serious. There. It was like the, I know, it was the, it was the next card down though. I know, but how do you get through all those cards? Like, it doesn't seem Yeah, we don't need it. We don't, it's not like we want it right now. No. Just... No, we're going to do it. <laughs> Why? Why not? Because we let's finish the scenario. I know. That's we're gonna. Okay. We're gonna. All right. So you're you're uh, um, doing it. So uh, let's put a. We don't have any more twos. That's the thing. So we'll put a one out there. <laughs> Go for it. We screwed up. There's not much we can do about it. I don't think we screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't screw that up. Just put a one out there. Hold it's on. fine. Got to get the right kind. Oh, we're breaking so many rules right now. No, I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a three. There's a one. Yes, there we go. It has an adventure thingy on it, right? Perfect. Perfect. Put it back in there, really. So, roll strength. You get two dice. You got a success. You keep your balance, but now you seem to be somewhere else in the tomb. Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Surprise. <laughs> What's going to happen? You never thought this would happen. Move this room to level three, attaching it to any open door. So now that, that El Dorado comes over here. Can we, can we kind of shift those down that way a little bit? Sure. There's no more twos. Yeah, there's no more room to saying. go in there. So, and then these come down here like this. That's how that was, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And then this can attach anywhere here. Sure, so, this one can go here, and boom. Now, how do you get out of there? I throw my you, rope. You, <laughs> you, you can go from here up to here. Okay. Gotcha. Okay? Mm -hmm. You can go from there up to there. Magic. Yes. It's a magic tomb, isn't it? Okay. Well, guess who gets to see him first? <laughs> was that my action? I'm confused. Well, we aren't here yet. That was Are your we? action. We're, we're still on five. We haven't got to six yet, right? No. Yeah, we're on no, five. We're still on five. Um, that was your action? Mm -hmm. So now it's me, and I am just trying to gain more bearing. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to drink some rum. What? People watching us. Hey. Cheaty cheap pants. Hey. Sometimes if <laughs> you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. All right. Well, that was this one. Who started? I started, right? Yes. Gotcha. All right. Your go. turn. What are you going to do now? Right. Oh. Well, it's my turn again? Oh. It'll be as soon as it's her turn, Seth. So. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Well, shouldn't I make more rooms down there? Yeah, but this is a closed That's a dead door, so you got to go one, two, like this. All right. And now we can use our threes. Which we have There's going to be a giant sea serpent that's going to attack It her. is. That's exactly. And I'll need a jug of rum. Oh, no. Told you. Makalima's Den of Destruction. Makalima. Um, oh, my. Isn't that where they uh, sacrifice people in Indiana Jones? Sure. Yeah, I think so. All right. Uh, <laughs> We and can, it's a dead end, too? It is a yeah. dead end, yes. That's lame. Uh, all right, so... So all this is going to cause us total mayhem, it's and gonna I give us. It's going to give us one extra move. Fine. What do I do? Misadventure. Unearthly pieces of strange machines and high-tech flying devices are strewn about here. You <laughs> investigate further and discover that these, parts of the, these are parts of an alien spaceship. 
Oh, I don't like alien spaceship. Do a knowledge check. So you have three knowledge. You have to get one success. You got it. You got it. Searching the rubble, you find a power source, which speaks of, which speaks to you. And I'm having all kinds of good adventures today. <laughs> the power to... source says, turn, turn me on. Ew, it does not. It does. <laughs> turn me on. <laughs> I, it probably doesn't say the way I said it. <laughs> you try to resist with all of your will. So now you need to do a mythos check. And you gotta get one success. You got it. Oh, I did, I did, I did, you you resist its pull. <laughs> <laughs> if you had failed, it says you get physical and kick the machine minus one health, but you pass. So but what do I get if I pass? I don't get some like what no. Reward? You simply resisted <sighs> its yourself. Pull. Come on. You, I agree with your you don't hurt yourself. You need to heal, by the way. Yeah, I do. Um, <laughs> ah, turn me on, wink, wink, lifeless angel says. Kali Ma <laughs> is back. All right. So I would, I would highly suggest. Well, that was it's your move. You moving back yeah, I can away. Go back now. Yeah. I can, um, I can block his way. That's all I can do. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to do for my final objective is uh, I'm going to go right here. And I'm just going to chill. You don't have any ranged attacks? No. Hmm. So we're going to have to wait a whole round before he moves. Okay, so that's See, Sam's so turn. So that's your turn. My turn? Mm hmm Um. Hmm. Block, block. I'm going to drink some more rum. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cheeky's over Liquid here. courage. There you go. My courage is maxed. I get a free whatever that is. Okay, so I can either heal these or do things. what is better. Oh, you get a, you get another uh, person. So Ooh, whoosh, voila. It's empty. It's because I forgot to take that out of the deck. You get the soul of Santorini. <laughs> nice. Santorini. You got a little kitty following you around now. I thought the soul of Santorini made me, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Hell Rider. <laughs> well, it is a Hell cat. Rider cat. It is. <laughs> so you don't want this one because this only does. Oh dear, I yawned. Wow. Okay, I what? use my last action to move. Yeah. So he doubles all of the points I get from from this, which is not going to help me any. But then you can redirect damage to this companion. That makes no sense. He is a companion cat. That has unlimited health that I can redirect damage to. <laughs> so you can just pile yeah. it on. So that's like... That's a good kitty. You're not taking damage for the rest of the time. You're never going to die. Okay. That's pretty amazing. That's, that's awesome. All right. Okay, so for my last action, I'm uh, moving into the center to block him. Sure. Well, here's the thing, though. Why not... He's not going to move. That's the thing. Yeah. He's, oh, he's not going to move. Gonna go a whole yeah, round. you can go here, and I would heal yeah. some, because he's going to attack you. I know. Because you're... I've gotten all you know, these Is he going to activate in this next round, or he's not? Yeah. No, we're going to oh, go Oh, I thought you said he's not going to activate. His, no, he's not going to activate. He's just... We're going to move here, mm -hmm. and then he's going to go boom. Oh, At the end of the round. Mm -hmm. When, 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 when it you. says common track moves up, yep. then he's going to go boom. Okay. And we'll read some stuff to get all of that. Got but, but uh, yeah. All right, so we're all done. I, yeah. I used my last thing to move here. That was uh, my last one. That was your, so you haven't done your last thing, I don't think. No, if she used her last one, then I've already used my last okay. one. Okay. Right. She would have ended it because yeah. she, would, I started she it. went yeah. out of turn. Okay, all cannot use the, uh, stamina in the turn phase. I mean, not stamina, but uh, audacity. Can't use audacity in the yeah, turn phase. Too. Move creatures. Uh, so this person will come here and attack me. This person will move one, yep. and that's it. Uh, so creature combat. So this guy here is going to do. Uh, I get, I get a truckload of dice. So, um, all but one of them. <clears throat> one, two, 
three, four. I think that's it, yeah? Four. Um, it has no hell, uh, no armor. Uh, I basically just killed it. And we all get one one courage. One courage. My courage is maxed. What do I need that for? Oh, wow. How many of these do you get? Uh, two. Okay. All right, back. Let's go back over there. And um, we need to spawn one bad guy and one really bad guy on level two. So one bad guy, Blackbeard's uh, Keepers. They look good to go right there. And then two bad guys. Oh, two baddie bads. They're slow. Can I put them here? Sure. You can put them anywhere you want. And then we have a werewolf and amigo. Uh, and those Ooh, need to go... They're both fast as hell. Whew, look at the health on those. <laughs> the one's got 12 health. I, I don't That's like the werewolf. That. Um, so let's put the werewolf... <laughs> it Way doesn't matter. There. He's got five. Uh -huh. Put the werewolf down there. Uh, and then this guy, where do you want to put him? What's his speed? Four? Yeah. The Migo. The Migo. Migo. And he can only go in a trap room or one of these rooms? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't one... matter because they've got speed yeah. galore. Yeah. Yep, yep. So there you go. Um, and then we move combat track one. So at that point, when the combat, when the combat track reaches six, there is a great rumbling a horrible gust of fetid air blows like a torrent through the tomb, which trembles as dust falls uh, from every crack in the walls and ceiling. A tremendous voice echoes through the halls. I have lived a thousand years and I shall live for thousands more. But it's in Egyptian, so you can't really understand it. That's unfortunate. It's true. <laughs> Place Raz Azul Ahmet on level three room tile furthest from Mongols Hall, so we'll just place him there. Um, during the tomb phase, Raz moves his full movement toward the tomb's entrance rather than toward the nearest adventurer. However, if he shares a room with any adventurers at the start of the tomb phase, he instead stays in that room and combats one of those adventurers. In addition to their stated effects, the three potent talismans have the following effects. All right, so the Staff of Ra. Ra's Azul's Ahamet rating is re combat rating is reduced by 5. So his combat rating is 18. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but it's reduced by 5. Mm -hmm. So it's only 13. Uh, the Ruby Scarab, Ra's Azul Ahamet cannot trigger his special abilities. So his special abilities is uh, giving the curse of the tomb to people. So if the Ruby Scarab is in the same room as him, he can't do that. Cal of Anubis. Raz Azul Ahmet cannot perform his Courage attack. So his Courage attack is normally 7. But as long as the Cal of Anubis is in that same room, that doesn't have an effect. So how do we get the... Because each of us has one. Right. Mm -hmm. So we all need to be in the same room for all of those to affect <laughs> at the same time. And he has 33 health. So we all got to meet here with all of our pieces mm -hmm. and block him and, and don't let him, him go past. Yep, that's correct. Okay. So that's our goal. We have to nope. go to that Let's room. What's up? What you got? Not, you should just give me another. This one just gives me more points. Actually, I read that wrong. He doesn't take any damage at all. You can't hurt. You, you can't. may not redirect damage to this companion. Yeah. So double so all gain souls. Worthless. Oh, because okay. you have, uh, you already have full. Yeah. You didn't draw that one. No, you, you drew on Sir Sunday. Lawrence of Sorry. Britain. That's who yes. I needed to find in the middle of a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right. So that is what so happens. Here, we all got to go to that room and just get ready to battle. Yeah. Yep. Now it is a battle royale with Raz Azul Ahmet. What we were called here to do. The problem is we can't get to him. Um, well, he can't he, come to us. We he, have to. He just will block. come to us. Sure, he will come to us. So we refresh so everything. Who was first last time? 
I was. Okay, so um, I... Gives me. Oh, I have to get my upkeep. I didn't know. I have plus two health, okay. and you're good. So, all right, how do we want to do this here? As far as let's talk about it. I don't know that there's a whole lot to talk about, but um, should we have everybody take one person take all of these? Or should we just keep one each and? It says we all matter. have to be don't in the same Don't think it matters? Room. Yeah, we all have to be in the same room, yeah? So we're just mm -hmm. all go to that room and get ready to fight. Okay. The problem is all going to that room is, is all these bad, all guys, these are bad guys are going to attack at the exact same time as That he is does. correct. Yeah. Which means they're going to wipe us out well, before we get a good Well, we've already cheated, so, you know. So, <laughs> all right. Um, who's first this time? I think I was first last time, Jesse's so I think first it's... first this time. No, I Jess, think JT was first okay. last time. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I'm just going to use my first action to... Is that what we want to do? We all want to move to that room? Yeah, I think so. It's, yeah. Unless you're going to go attack him. No, I'm not attacking him. <laughs> I don't do none of that, man. All right, so it. I have moved to there um, with my movement. All right, that's, that's that. That's I'm not going to attack him either. Uh, so I'm just gonna chill and say, we got this, guys. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Which, I don't think we do. That's true. We're gonna die. That's what you're gonna do I is chill gonna and die. say that? I'm gonna chill and say, I, I, this is like win one for the Gipper speech. Okay. That's what this is. Well, all right. Well, I'm just gonna heal. How's that? You're not gonna move to where we are? No. What? Yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna come there next turn. Yes, he'll get After there. After four more actions. We have, like, three okay. actions. Okay, whatever, whatever. All right, it's your turn. I know, now I've done all my turns. Yeah, I don't know. Um, heal. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. Prep, prep, prep. Yep, yep, yep. Get battle ready here, people. Uh Oh, I already did this once. So, second time, again, plus two. All right, I'll move over there just so you don't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I was I was literally saying to her, "Where is that stupid alligator guy? Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be here." Nobody can pay me. I haven't been paid yet, <laughs> <laughs> sir. This is not about the payment. I'm drinking rum. Yes. As you then. Oh, back to me. Yeah. I don't. Hmm. Oh, this is good. I get plus one dexterity and plus one movement if I get all the way up here. Yeah, all the way up there. Can you get all the one, way up there? One, two. I don't know. I'm gonna try. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Okay. I'm going to heal. Wait, is that third? Yeah, that's yeah. third. For my last action, what is more critical, this one or this one? Um, This one, does it go down when we fight him? What's no. that? It the courage? Yeah. Well, if yeah. we're, if we're, if, uh, wh which one was it? It was the... Um, he doesn't have a courage thing on his... The cowl of Anubis. If your thing isn't where he is, then yes, his courage attack will happen. But if the Cal of Anubis oh, is in his looks spot... different than these ones? Yeah. Gotcha. Yes, because these are the old cards. Gotcha. His is the new cards. So okay. should I move this up or help? Uh, help. This, because you're going to have other people in there too, maybe. Okay. Yep. I don't know. Either one's the know. same. That's it. That was my last action. Yeah. Yeah, one more. My last action is going to be... All right, so how do we use this stuff? Yeah, let's buy all the all stuff right. we can. Well, what we can do is, if we use that stuff, that stuff fell on the floor. All right, so, oh, forgot to read all this stuff. Dadgummit. Uh, where is it? <laughs> read at the start of the scenario after the main briefing. Crapola! I'm an idiot. Well, at least this isn't the example of what to do. What's the abridged version? Yeah, the abridged version is basically um, uh, when you arrive in the tomb, the giant Mayan calendar rolls out of the way, revealing Quetzalcoatl's hall. Um, the spirit monger stands before you and greets you. And uh, I never found that guy either. They explain, mm -hmm. as you know, the most... Well, he's that dude over there. Mm -hmm. That's the queen. Mm. Um, and uh, explains that he's the a malevolent entity of Egyptian history. Um, and his greatest rival just so happens to be dun, 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 Cleopatra. Father Hope. The, 
What did you say? Did you say Bob Hope? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. As he says her name, the portal swirls with even greater vigor, and a golden light begins to shine as beautiful music. A majestic woman steps through into your reality. She introduces herself as Cleopatra and assures you that she's answered the spirit monger's call. Uh, she goes on to explain that in the past she helped uh, the EOP to lock him away in the tomb. So now she's here to make sure that we uh, re uh, banish him uh, uh, as well. So, after Ra's al Ahmed has awakened Flip, Cleopatra's uh, spirit token card now. Burm, 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 she's alive! Um, now, the following ab uh, abilities become active. We didn't use any of her other abilities, I think, because we were just lackluster players. But, in addition to that now, we can use one f spirit to force Ra's al Ahmed to move one space towards your adventurer. So we can use one one thing okay. to make him not go towards the entrance. I want the nuke. What's the nuke? The nuke is the wrath of the Philippator. I don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. He explained it to me what it means, but I don't remember what he said. Perfect. Um, but it's 15. We yep. have more than 15, right? Yep. When in the same rule, room as Ra's Azul Ahmed, you can trigger this ability. Once you trigger this ability, all other Cleopatric spirit boons are no longer available. Okay. Correct. Um, and uh, you place Cleopatra's spirit card in your room, and from that point on, she is now haunting Ra's Azul Ahmed, and will follow him everywhere he moves. She deals five damage to him every turn until all players are killed, and you lose the game, or until he is defeated. Oh, well then that's what we want. And How then once we do have? that, like we have pain. more to read. Oh dear Pete. Huh? How much health does he have? Like that's 33. Where does it say that? Oh, okay. copy. Okay. All right. Are you mocking Raz Azul Ahmed? How no, dare you, sir? No, I'm mocking my machetes. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pistol. All right. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to take my last action. I thought I might have to trigger that, but so I'll just take my last action to heal. Because. Yep. Because I agree with because. All right. So now. Gonna do a card. Now we do a tomb. Tomb phase. First player. Who was the first player? She was. <laughs> Minus two health. <laughs> a brush with death. Maybe uh, it changes before. Right. Do we have any level one bad cards? No. No. Um, okay, so we don't need to worry about that. Level three, however, <laughs> we do have... Don't we have to do moves and attacks first? Yes, we do. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Pictures. All right, so he's going to move one, two, up here. Blah, mm -hmm. blah, blah. He doesn't do his uh, attack attack, but he attacks the person that's going to be the lowest health, <laughs> yeah. which is you, which is horrible because he's got 13 combat strength. All right, can I? Yeah, but you only get five dice. Yeah, but he'll take all the damage. If, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's true, yeah. Yeah, that's probably the better idea. You know, sacrifice your sword. Fine. Go ahead. Is that five? Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So one, two. Two. So he takes two damage. So Perfect. Go ahead and I'll just keep that over here. Two out we of won't. his 33. Yep. There we go. And then, and then uh, he provides he, he does 11. 11. So... Take that away. Minus one. Goodbye, singing Take scimitar, one. and one no, more. No, not you. Minus one because he had a shield. Oh, yeah, minus one. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. So you don't take any damage. You don't okay. take any damage, okay. but the singing shield, the singing uh, scimitar <clears throat> is gone. Okay, cool. All right. I'm um, like, well, let's, we're going to have to use all of them here. Yeah, we got, we got meat shields. We need to use them. Uh, where's my other dude? I don't know. He was still around. He was still in that away. thing. Boom. No, you had to discard him when you did. Ran I away. is that what yeah, it said? Yeah, there we oh, go. Yeah, that's right. He probably away. ran out with me. That's yeah, why. Yeah, he he didn't stop when he you ran came the back. Other direction. Okay. He kept going um, to the other door. Okay. So now level three, we have to. All put the rest out. of these guys got to attack too. Uh, this guy moves four. One, two, three, four. Uh huh. And this guy's doing one, one at a time. So yeah, so this, this guy is attack. four, and he's going to attack you as well. Yep. Um. So it is. Uh, this is a seven. Seven. So, nope. You gotta roll your dice. Yep. Roll your whatever you're fighting him with. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and that's, that's it. That's seven. Two. Oof. He has two armor. Yeah, but one of those is a six, so he so does take one hit. He takes one. Yep. And you take five. Let's put him over here like that. Oh, you take four. Because of your shield. Okay, four. Four. Okay. Then this guy's going to move <coughs> two. Mm hmm. And, and that guy's move. coming in to fight. He comes in to fight as well, so we'll put him right here. Okay, so trigger him next then. And he's going to attack you as well. Yeah. Um, I'm thing. here to defend Se you, boys. <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven damage. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's a seven combat strength, so you're going to roll your seven dice again. Is that seven? Yep. And one. One. You might want to reroll. Yep. <laughs> we did not do well planning. Ooh, one, two, three. three. And they're all they're Six, all sixes, yeah. so he takes three damage out of twelve. Jeez. So how are you gonna keep track of who has what, man? I, I, that's why well, I've this got one them on, has one. I've got them on the doors. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've got them on the doors, so that's that's how I'm keeping it right now. Okay. Um and then <laughs> Hey, you guys got to eat and get ready to go. And then you take four. Three. Three. Stand alive. Okay, now what's next? Upkeep. Now, we get to bring out more bad dudes. Why? Two down here. So we have a Mongol spirit dragon golem and a doppelganger. And we'll put... Uh, both of them right here because that's the only place they can go. That's so the doppelganger. Nice. Oh wow, that has that's like a mathy type dude. There's like X's and Y's and so his courage is the current adventurer's base mythos plus base uh, knowledge and then his combat value is the current adventurer's strength and dexterity. Wonderful. So he's All a right. doppelganger. Okay. Oh, so, um, so now we flip everything over. Okay. I think you start now. And uh, comment track is no longer a thing. Upkeep. I did mine. Yeah, I did hers. Charlie did yours. Did um, I get two more health. And that goes away. Perfect. So. No, you get two of those. Oh, I get one of those. Yeah, not two health. I don't know. I get two health. Oh, yeah, those. you do. <clears throat> Okay. All right, so I'm first now. Yep. Okay, so I think I'm going to spend uh, 15. fifteen to have her come into our place. Uh, so give me a um, give me a yeah. Doesn't matter which one. All right. Now she is haunting him. And deals five damage to him every turn until all players are killed. So just let's give him five bucks. Uh, five Ooh, damage. Right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, might as well. Okay. So five damage. This Three, is this is Raza's old. Seven, huh? He's at seven. Okay. Uh, so read the following. I have waited for this moment, Raza Zul Ahmed. Now is your time to die. Vengeance is mine. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. No, I'm just kidding. Taking his spirit <clears throat> and magic for yourself in your vain attempt to return to power, I resealed you in the tomb, and still somehow you find another way to attempt to escape. But not this time. I don't know why she sounds like this. I this don't time you shall be destroyed, and you'll have to escape the underworld itself. You shall not escape your eternal death. With that, Cleopatra reveals a corporeal crown, the crown of her father, Ptolemy Alutes, uh, Al Al Aulites, I don't know how you pronounce it, and holds it out in front of her. And so I have brought him here to finish you. Raz Azul simply says what you have always heard him say psychically and eerily in your mind's ear. I have lived for thousands of years and I shall live for thousands more. 
All right, so there we go. So he took five damage, and uh, now you have the the like Razazul damage killer sure. thingy, Madugi uh -huh. Hopper. So technically, I should give this to you because it gives you plus two Mythos, and it's a Mythos attack. Um, I have four Mythos right now with it. Without it, I only have one. But if I give I it to you... four right now. Yeah, if I give it to you, that would give you six, right? Yeah. So I think instead of attacking him <clears throat> with my first thing, I'm going to give you the Ruby Scarab. Okay. Because that'll give you plus two more. So move your... Um, your mythos thing up to plus three and that will i think do better for us all together all uh, right. and i think giving uh yeah it's action yeah trading with another adventurer that's that yep so that's my action your turn man smack him all right my first one i'm gonna try to slap him so that is i need Five. I need eleven dice. Okay. Oh, that's all but one. There you go. So we don't have to attack any of the other little guys. Oh, just sorry. The big guy, right? No, we do have to. They will hurt us as well. This is like a oh, battle right. royale. Oh no, it's plus so ten. Right. So I need five more. Well, you have to roll five. Here's more. one. <laughs> now you need four more. All right. So how many dice do you have all together? Ten. I have. 16. 16. Okay, so that's 12. You got to roll four more dice. Indeed. What is wrong One, with you? One, two, three, four, five. So that's five. What's his armor? That was something else. Uh, his armor is only three. Okay. But well, one, one of those gets through. through. But still. So one but goes through right now. And then, yeah, so two damage. But you're not finished rolling yet. Oh, yeah, copy. So did you roll, how many did you roll? You got one, two, yeah, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, four more. Two. So three damage. Three damage, so give me another five. Huh? Give me another five. Oh. Actually, just give me a ten. Is there a 10? Yep. Uh, the last one over there. It's no, I got to sort all this crap. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Why would you give me a 1? Oh, it's because 10s are on the one other side zero. of the 1s. Well, that was my turn. So I did... Wait, the, he does damage back to me, though. Um, you did how many 1, altogether? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means six. I take 7 damage. And his is down to or 13. So, yes, seven. Seven. Yep. And I can give that to one of these guys? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. Huh? Five, six, seven. There you go. Meat shield. All right. It's your turn. Your turn, Jess. Okay. Battle. Open up a can. I don't have a big you're, can. You're gonna, you're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to die. So <laughs> She's going to shoot him once. <laughs> She's like kamikaze. I have, a, I have a pistol. So I'm up against Ra with a pistol. I guess if you die, we can pick up your stuff. I got none. I got one. That's it. Okay, so he takes one hit. Yep. So I'm about to re-roll it. Oh, oh, can I go? It's one. Okay, yes. Yeah, go ahead. Give me more than that. Nope. <laughs> we got none. Perfect. I'm out. We forfeit the dead. one hit. You're dead. I'm super dead because yep. he killed me for like I mean, so a lot. And yeah. once Roz has entered, you, you can't, can't, you can't get a new dude in there. So... Well, All I'm right. Let you guys finish. I'm going to have a good parent um, for a little bit. Well, here's the <laughs> thing. The, the cowl of Anubis is still in the room. Right. I drop it. So yep. I would somebody... imagine somebody else yes. is still here and it's still affecting him. Actually, yeah, I don't all think my items, right? Yeah. Yeah, that stuff's here. 
Right. So they're here. Somebody, if they wanted to not um, battle him, could pick it up. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, <laughs> and roll here. I get five. Wait, can I give you my actions? Would that help? Five plus. You have 12 per round. <laughs> four. That's nine. Yeah, we lost three actions. No, it's fine. 10, 11. I'm still rolling 11 dice here. So give me two you of those. You got lots of health. I do. Why can't wow. you roll like this, dude? That was a good roll. I could have rolled really like that. Roll. That would have been helpful. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One of them goes straight through. Um, still minus three. So. Still minus three, though, but one goes through. I know. Four damage? <clears throat> um, uh, yes, four damage. Or like at 80... 14 of his 33. And you take six. <laughs> and I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, minus the yep, 13. six. Yep. So that's down to 14. Okay. All right. Round two. Wait, how many did I take last time? Didn't I? We counted it. Oh, no, I gave it to him. Never yeah. Mind. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, well, hit him again. Try number two. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve of my sixteen. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what I'm talking about. That's the JT we all know and love. That's what you just rolled. I know. Eight. Eight altogether. Not Minus, bad. What's his armor? So he takes five damage. Yeah. Oops. And I take five damage. Uh, yes. So that guy's dead. And <coughs> two more. You can. You still have her. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Now these things are still in there. So how much, how much health does he got now? He has nineteen. He's taken nineteen hits, so uh, he's 33. less than half. All right. So he's he's gonna <clears throat> die. What's his movement speed? Four. So we can't catch him if he runs. <laughs> That's true because he's killed one of us. Actually, I'm not sure that that because it says if they're. He, if he's in a room with you, he's going to stop and fight. But yeah, yeah I don't know how that works. Saying. Right, but it, it, until he kills one person. And then he just runs. And then he's like oh, hightailing it. I didn't hear that. Yeah, we're all dead. All right. Well, your turn. I'm going to nail him again. Six and so, yeah. Actually, he takes one, two, three, four damage. Yeah. He takes four damage, so just give me a five. Actually, give me a ten. So now he's at twenty-three. Twenty-three. All right. Come on now. I'm going to break the staff of Anubis right now. All right. This is my last action. I just used this. Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah, we each have... No. We each have one left. We each have one left, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. using yeah, my yeah. third one right now. Gotcha. <clears throat> but it's also the last one that we can use this on. Get him. Get him, Ray. Two. Huh? Yeah, three. There's a five. A six. Oof. You might, you might want to re-roll that one. Well... No, see, he doesn't have any I do. I yeah, one he's left. got one oh. left. But we'll see what you get on the other four. Oh, yeah. Two more. Two more. So five. Five out of 16. You want to re-roll that? No. Nope. That's numbers. Yep. Let's do it. So that is... The problem is... 
Yeah, I'm going to reroll it. Because that's two hits. Anyway, no matter how you look at it. Huh? That, that would that would have been just two hits. Two damage, yeah. yeah. But this is the last swing of the staff, yeah. so... And then I'm nerfed on the last hit, so... If I don't do better now, it's not going to matter. Holy oh, moly. Oh, that was super bad, dude. Well. Snap. Whoever's got these stupid dice. Yeah. Mm. Jeez. All right. It takes one well, damage. What about this one? That was oh, a, I don't know. That was a five. Still, it just takes one damage. Yep. I lost one damage there. And the oh, staff is bad. destroyed. Staff is destroyed. Yep. Well, it's not destroyed, right? Does it say it's destroyed? Yeah, discard it. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Well, after three hits. Here yep, we go. We did the three. I need 11 mm. dice. How much damage can you do to him? He's at 24. I got to be 13, at least. <laughs> Nine more damage Let's you need. Let's see. She go, he will go one, two, three, four. and four. He'll yeah, be out. He's done. You either defeat him or you lose. Those are the two choices. That's it. Yeah, three. But um, two of them go through, so he gets a five. That twenty six damage. Yeah, well, I have one attack left. <laughs> How much damage did he do to you on that one? Hmm? What did he I do didn't take you? my damage on the last one either. Oh, oh, him? oh! How many did I have? I had only three. You had three. What did I have on the last <laughs> one? I had one. <laughs> so I take ten. Did I have one on the last <laughs> one? No, I had two on the last one, but one of them only one. One went through. Yeah. I had three, but one went through. Yeah. So I took 10 as well. So that's 8, 9, 10. Boyve. <laughs> I think we lost, boys. Well, let's see. All right, here we go. So now. Oh, there's no seeing. We're done. I'm going to attack with the battle axe, because why not? Oh, well. Oh, wow. Let's see. No, if he shares a he room shares a space, with he any leave, adventurers at the start of the tomb phase, he instead stays in that room and combats one of those adventurers. Oh, in addition to their stated... Of, okay, then, so... The whole time. So, will, he won't move out this turn. That's what I said. Yeah, Unless, he'll be good. He'll be, we'll be there. good. We got this. Well, we, we don't this. have this. I got nothing. But, I'm good. I said All right. we. Well, I'm attacking him with the battle axe so that sixes do two damage. That's the best I got. <laughs> Quick hello to everyone. Eli, Eli Kurtz says, okay, hello. Um, uh, just got home. I am here. We'll watch in the morning. Have a great time. See you later, Eli. Uh, Irish Falcon uh, says, J JT needs to tag his substitute roller for better odds. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Pick on me. How many armor does he have? Three? Yes, he has three. Sweet. I did one damage. One damage. Oh, sixes get through. Yes. I did two damage. Huh? I'm doing my battle axe. I get double damage. Oh, I okay. Damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, One. so I hit with three. That means he does ten to me. Well, okay. the cool thing about this, the cool thing about it, though, is uh, you're out of, you're out of turn. Cool okay, it. so it's 10, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's 28. He only has five damage left. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is what's going to happen. Um, now we have to flip over another tomb card. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody gets plus one audacity. We move creatures, so uh, but we'll attack with them first. Yep. So I think I have less health than you. I'm you about five. I'm, I have four. Yep. yep. <laughs> We're dead right creatures. now. Yeah. Oh, fart knocker. All right, so the Mego will attack me first. So I'm going to roll 11 dice. Uh, I'm going to roll 11 dice, and we'll see what happens. That one doesn't yep. count. So I have a six, a five, and that's it. So his armor is two. So I'm sorry, his 
attack value is five. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, seven. So I take five, which kills me. Um, but it takes uh, one damage. So that goes there, and he has eight health left. Perfect. Um, but I'm toast. Yep. I'm dead. And so then the werewolf will attack, and uh, you'll roll your attack, whatever it is. His combat value is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine. Seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, nine plus three is twelve. Yep. Four, five, six, seven. His combat value eight, is nine. seven. Seven? Yep. Perfect. This was a five, but it wasn't all the way a five. So one, two, three. He does not have any uh, any um, armor. Armor. And so he loses two combat value because I'm using those. Oh, machetes, okay. So, so it was only five. a five then. Yeah. You take so, two health. Yep. So I take two damage. Two damage, and he takes uh, three. One, two, three. So uh, just give me a five. And he <laughs> is half dead. Perfect. <laughs> So that's that. Now the revolutionary poltergeist Can't says, we have "Hey, the boss guy, attack us first. No, why of not? Because then we're not going to get to fight him, do any more damage. I want him to attack me next. But it's, I, it says move creatures. He's already yeah. there. Well, it's just so you want to have him. Then they all attack. You want to have him? They all move. Then they all attack. Yeah. Then they all. Okay, we'll have yeah, him attack. He needs to attack. Go ahead." I'll let I'll let Razazul uh, Matt kill you. Okay. Not the poltergeist. That would be kind of weird. That would be Ghost bad. coming in and goes mm -hmm. boo, and you go. <laughs> uh huh. Come on now. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. What's his armor? Uh, right. well, he takes two damage, and I die. Three. <laughs> he takes two damage. There you go. Yep. What is he at? Two damage, so he's at 30. Do you have any more moves? We're all dead. No, oh, we're all dead. This is the tomb phase. That's we it. Just, we just died. Everyone's dead. But here's how close we got. To dying. <laughs> no, here's how close we got. If we could have survived through the tomb phase, Cleopatra deals him five damage and he's dead. Mm -hmm. She probably did that anyways. No. I already gave her a damage for the first round. I know. For this she turn. probably did that Anyway, as soon as we all died. Yeah, she's like... She oh, you're not coming through here. So yeah, we, right. But we all died before she dealt that final damage. So... That's technicality. Uh, Raz Alzul Ahmed steps over the corpses of the insignificant adventurers. Exiting through the doorway of the tomb, he basks for a moment in the sunlight of a new dawn, then raises his arms to the heavens. From his fingertips, Roz sends a beam of energy off into the distance, calling to him the intergalactic ship that has vigilantly awaited his return to power for thousands of years. Savoring his new freedom, the great pharaoh can now begin his next reign <laughs> over the earth. There you Terrible. go. Terrible. Ah. Dead meat. We got so close, though. I don't know. We had some missteps on getting to the third level. You so, hush. So I don't know what you're talking about. Super close. You hush. I, I don't. I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> that is Secrets of the Lost Tomb. Uh, let's put it back Indeed. on. Indeed. Oh, the uh, dice are really cool. The dice are cool. These are basically twelve. These are two sixes. Each yeah. one of these represents two sixes. Um, so two six sides, but. Anyway, that's how it get, goes. Flosaurus came on in for a little bit there. So many dice, he says. That is correct. Uh, there was a lot of dice. We were only three health away from defeating Raz Azul Ahmed. <sighs> this is true. But that's it. That's it. Well, there is a Kickstarter going on. You can go check that out. Whether you back it or not no, is not up to me. I'm sorry, not Kickstarter, GameFound. GameFound campaign going on right now. 
Go check it out. Whether you back it, not up to me. It's up to you. But if you saw anything that you liked. Yep. If you see anything that you like, go check it out. And I'm sure they'll very much appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. All is well that ends well. At least that Pharaoh finished its goal. <laughs> yeah, right? Somebody did. Peace out, Florosaurus says. Yes, you are correct. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Bye. Take care. See you later, folks.